Good evening, my fellow nerds, and welcome to Nerdy Scholar, the film podcast. And now, here are your hosts, Brian Mubinas and Phil, and Matthew Stenhoff Lapna. Enjoy the show! <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome back to Nerdy Scores of Film Podcast. I am your host Brian Suffield. This is episode 17. We're recording on November 7, 2015. I'm joined by my co-host Matt Wagner <laughs> and Nathan Reiner. Guess who's back? Nathan just used the guitar and killed it with one note. He actually owns a real acoustic guitar and I'm trying to tune it so that it sounds better. <clears throat> And that's about as good as I can get. Yeah. I don't know if it sounds good over there, but trust me, from where we're sitting, it sounds pretty good. Well, we'll keep practicing on that. So, not too many movie news. Uh, we're going to talk about a lot of trailers. Then we're going to have reviews of Spectre and the Peanuts movie. And we're going to talk about the Blu-ray releases, mainly Inside Out. <laughs> so, here we go with the news. <laughs> now, now uh, earlier this week, for film lovers like me, I don't know if Matt knows about this, but um, we lost someone earlier this week. Her name Again? is Mel- we. Her name is Melissa Mathinson. She is the screenwriter of E. T. One of my favorite films ever, and she's writing the upcoming B. F. G. Which comes out in July. Big fucking gun. No. Big. The big, big friendly, friendly giant. Oh uh, no! B. F. G. And Doom is the big, big fucking, fucking gun. gun Nine thousand. Yes, but I wanted to contribute <laughs> a short tribute to her. E. T. Is one of my favorite films ever. Uh, that script is fantastic. This woman is a really excellent writer. Uh, I um, I was excited for the BFG mainly, not just because it's Spielberg, but also because it was one of my favorite books when I was a little kid, and I was excited to see it being adapted on screen, and now I'm, I know for a fact that the movie will be good. I'm sure the screenplay is very strong, was and it? my cart goes to her and her family. Your and cart? My heart. There you go. Goes to her family and friends and Spielberg and everybody who's well-rounded Mario with her. Kart. Was it greenlit the uh, script before she died? Yeah. Yes, Thank Matt. God. She just died. The movie comes out in July, so yeah, they she's already still finished. Fresh, so you Matt, they finished filming the movie. They're currently <laughs> in pro- they're currently in post production. That necrophilia, though. God damn. They're currently in post production. Okay, I was just making sure because that that's why I said the movie's good. coming out in July. That means July two thousand sixteen. Fast. Yeah, but that's all I wanted to say about her. So rest in peace, Melissa. I'll miss you very much. We'll so, miss you and your big fucking gun, nine thousand. That's really offensive, Nathan. Thank you. It's from Doom. I know, but Doom has nothing to do with her. The BFG. What is it? Like, what does Doom and a giant have to do with each other? <laughs> I'm gonna throw this pole at you. You know what they have to stop, do. Stop! No, no, stop! stop. M swipe. You went too far, and you're not trying to damn my over. <laughs> Well, fascinating to know. So, Brian, here we go with Brian, the movie wait, news. Wait, wait. There's only one thing. Fail! There you go. Continue. There's only a quite a bit of movie news. Here we go. The first look images from the upcoming Harry Potter prequel spin-off film, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, have been released by Entertainment Weekly. The film is currently being filmed in England. It's directed by David Yates, who directed the final four Harry Potter films. And it's coming out on November 18th. 2016. Now, I've been looking forward to this, series, this movie because I am a big Harry Potter fan. There is a poster right beside Nathan right now as we speak. Nerd! And, <laughs> shut up. Harry Potter is very important to me. I'm so excited to go back to this universe. You I think the images look great. So uh, we, we saw what A. Remy looks like as Newt. As long as he doesn't speak, like the way he's... I'm gonna speak right now. And I'm not gonna speak like this. Unless I find Harry Potter, Harry Potter, the boy who has yet to live, come to die. Unless I am Harry Potter, the boy who has come yet to live. Listen, people, as much as I don't like him for that film, I am very curious to see what he's going to do in this franchise, and I think he's a perfect fit for this franchise, and I like the images. It brings us back to the Harry Potter vibe, and I'm very excited to see this movie next year. No, I, I was raising my hand to speak. Yes, sir. Harry Potter lost to Luke Skywalker. No, Harry, <laughs> Potter, Harry Potter all the way. Are you kidding me? He oh, officially geez. lost. Good for him. But still, now Nathan doesn't care about Harry Potter. 
No, I wouldn't say that I don't care. It's just I find other characters more appealing. And your microphone is a little loose. There you go. Oh, shit. No, the light's on, so that means it's... No, I meant the, the plug was... Oh, it's on. usually like that. Oh. Well, now it's doing a three-way split. That's got to be painful for the That crime. banana split, though. Now, about that voice, I think the only way somebody could humanly get that voice is if somebody took a nut shot that was so powerful in a steel toe boot and that that's it sent what them happened forward in Jupiter Ascendant. That's what happened in Jupiter Ascendant. I'll show you the clips afterwards. Oh, God. Has anybody seen the Superman most powerful and epic nut shot? How he sends, Can you describe it, please, to me? He sends some dude out of his shoes and his socks. He loses his glasses, too. And sends him up into space, into the sun. And meanwhile, news reporters are commenting on it, getting the whole video. <laughs> it's amazing. Fascinating. Poor fellow. <laughs> Poor fellow, indeed. Good <coughs> God. When your balls make your eyes pop out of your skull because they were sent so far up your body... That's 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 a feat. Still don't get why How we're talking we... about this. Oh, you were talking about your voice, so I said... Hey. Not my voice. No, the voice that you were talking about. Yeah. Eddie Redmayne. Hey, I'm Batman. No. <laughs> nah. That's what that voice sounds you like. You just though. offended every DC fanboy. Matt. Well, suck it! <laughs> um, I, it's been a long time since I watched Harry Potter. And now, like, he's gonna, now he's going to look no, at me. No, I have not time. watched Harry Potter in a long time since... Don't look at me! Don't look at me! The mic is between you two. My God. Don't look at the mic, not me! The mic can hear you. Speak up. <laughs> All right. The mic has feelings, too. Whoa, okay. Everything has feelings, I guess. Hey, maybe the maybe the guitar doesn't like how you're playing it right now. <laughs> Roll 22. What the fuck's... Okay. Everything just... has feelings. God damn. You... <laughs> <sighs> All right, going back to this movie. I think that it's definitely sticking to the period, because it looks like it's like a very Industrial Revolution 1920s. So it's like London? Yeah, it's like old, like, we're talking about like London, where it had no, the old... No, it takes place like, in New York. Really? Like Jack yes. the Ripper kind of is? Really? I didn't, I didn't, wow, I didn't know that. Shit. Hmm. Shit, no. I'm That's probably, our movie. No, no, no. Everything. No, no, no. It was in New York? Really? Damn. But they're not filming it in New York. That's pretty cool. I mean, I could tell by the cars. Where it was are they old, filming but... it? London. I knew it. They're filming in London, but it's in New York. So what are they just gonna like green screen like big no, bad? No, they build sets, Matt. Yes, obviously they're gonna use some green screen, yeah. but not all like green every, screen. Everybody uses something nowadays. Oh God, but cybernetic enhancements for my is... Okay, can I just... you know what? I don't even know nothing about the prequel. That's all I'm just saying. I know nothing about it other than it's Eddie Redmayne, Colin Farrell, and it's set before Harry Potter. I've read one book and half of the second. I know nothing about Harry Potter, except for, spoilers, Voldemort dies, and Dumbledore dies. Everyone should know that by now. And spoilers. If you guys That's don't... all I know. Viewers, if you are a movie fan, you don't know that by now, I would be shocked. Oh, there he goes. Who's a shit. I said shocked. It's you like, said shit. It's like, if nobody knows that, it's like saying the same, nobody knows. It's like, no, no, it's and, like, no, it's like, no, it's like people don't know that the Titanic sank. What? It's like that. Conspiracy theories. People don't know that? No, I'm just saying it's like that. Like, if people don't know that Do Voldemort dies, that means it's like people not knowing that. Oh, Titanic. denial. People don't know that Zelda is the princess and the hero is Link, not Zelda. Exactly. You would be so surprised. I know. I knew I'm that aware. already. Yeah, that's that's because you're around me, dude. Yeah. No, I actually I knew, knew that, that kind of before. Because I actually did. I'm like, wait, is it Zelda when I found myself? Oh, no. Okay. Get off my pillow! Get off on your pillow. No, get off, Mom! <laughs> Ew, Matt's jerking off! The middle looks like a penis. Ah! The middle looks like a penis. You just defended like his the... sister. God damn it. No, but Matt didn't give his thoughts on these images. Wow, than... Well, it looks like a 1920s thing. Yeah, well, it looks like 1920s because it has those very old style cars. That's because cars. it takes place in the 1920s. Um, shame to probably be jacking off on all those cars. Ew! <laughs> It's so sad, it's true! <laughs> Sorry, Shane, but if you saw, like, these old Fords, you'd probably be like, oh my god, there Dude, are all these Model Ts! The all Model of, Ts! All of them would give him wonderful pants feeling. Yes. <laughs> yes. Shane has no feelings, that's the thing. Are you kidding me? Secretly! No, Have he would secretly... see how he fawns over his fucking car? Oh, yeah, this well, car. this car was taken out in 1976, blah, 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 blah. This car has... You're been... welcome! 
I honestly, but, <laughs> but I can't judge anything about it because I have to see footage. But you need to judge it. We're talking about just the images. It looks good. The you images. Show me any. They're images. in 1080p. You're not a Harry Potter fan. Oh well, fuck you too. <laughs> like no, they're like they're in 1080p. They're beautiful looking. That's all I gotta say. It's next to the period. Judge what's in the picture, not the quality, you mother. There's nothing really to judge. I mean, um, yes, it's there just is. Images of Eddie Redmayne in New York. Well, in London, that's supposed to be in New York. Like they're filming on a soundstage, and not that deal with it. They want to go and film where the other eight films were filmed. I'm just wow, that's what, original. What I'm trying to say is, we can't judge it till we know more. Exactly. Well, we're talking about the, the images. The, the images look beautiful. That's all I'm gonna say. Moving on. We spent too much time on that. God damn it. The director of Bad Santa 2 has been announced. It will be Ooh. Mark Waters, the guy who directed Freaky Friday and Mean Girls. This is... I'm very excited for Bad Santa 2. Wow! My ears hurt. That was cold. Give me Wally. <laughs> Wally. <laughs> he was not beating off Wally. Jeez. Shut up, Matt. I'll beat you with Wally. Ow. Bad. Own it! Nice! I am fa- No! Keep talking. Give me my phone! If you behave, I'll give you your phone. Okay. I love Bad Santa. It's considered my personal favorite Christmas movie. It's not the best Christmas movie, but it's my personal favorite because I love watching Christmas movies. And, what are you doing? That's going on Instagram. What? What? Brian playing with his Wally doll. <laughs> I, it's not I it's God. hashtag oh my god Matt you're hashtag terrible hashtag so sad Matt you're <laughs> terrible with hashtags <laughs> cause I don't hashtag hashtag fail <laughs> whatever uh, Andrew I, develops I the, amazed on listen, that photo listen listen Andrew develops the hashtags I think of the ideas <laughs> and Andrew, no you don't Andrew's and, the one who's creative 100% as Andrew he does. created all five of our hashtags no <laughs> you didn't he hold did on. I said he did oh, I thought he said I created no he no, did no, hold on hold on hold on he makes the hashtags. You make the stupid ideas that nobody remembers. Exactly. Yes. That's the that's the truth. That's Own what it. I said. When I said Caprio might show up with the peg mm -hmm. leg, he made. You did not that. say that. That was Moving him. On. Well, whatever. Um, it no, is. Well, he made. The I am excited for Bad Santa too, and this is a very good director because Freaky Friday and Mean Girls are both really good films, and I think he would be good. Get off. Okay. Get off. <laughs> Fuck you. I was just looking at the background, jeez. Lies. Thoughts on this news story? Well, with the Freaky Friday stuff, I have no comment. I haven't seen either of the movies. You suck. You heartless bastard. Go records! What? Madden hasn't seen Bad Santa. And I We're showing him the movie at our Christmas movie marathon. Which Matt thought would be on Christmas Eve. Bitch, we have lives on Christmas Eve. I guess you don't have a life on Christmas Eve. Nathan, do you have a life on Christmas Eve? Making it snow! <laughs> Damn it. No, of course I have my traditions. Exactly, but he says, hey, maybe we should do this Christmas movie marathon on Christmas Eve. Bitch, no, I have a life! I'm okay with doing that. Insert Mr. Krab saying, I got a life. I, 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 I got a life! No, remember, <laughs> I can't be all here all night. I got a life. Boom. It's funny, you, of all people, saying that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> person who doesn't like family entertainment, but I am excited for this next news story is related to Harry Potter and the film Again? that we're watching. Again. To that we watched this week. Oh boy! It has been announced that the person who will voice Alfred in the Lego Batman movie, the person that's voicing him, is. Ray finds he will be joining Will Arnett reprising his role as Batman, Michael Sarah as Robin, and Rosario Dawson as Batgirl. I love the Lego movie. It was terrific. <laughs> and... Oh my. Sure. No funny. more Bane. No more Bane noises. What Bane noises? Matt, it's plugged in. The light is on, which means it's plugged in. What banging noises? Oh, well, someone told me that there was a Bane noise going on. Don't bang, okay? We'll bang, okay? Um, but, um, 
I think Ray Fiennes is a perfect choice for an alpha. And this movie has so much meta, and it's going to be awesome. That's what I'm hoping, because the Lego movie was great. So, yeah, I'm excited for this Nathan. Did you see the Lego movie? It's as annoying! Sorry! <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Did you see the Lego movie or not? No. Why? Because I have my own Legos to play at home. I don't need to play a Lego movie. Yeah, you do. It's entertaining. And it's filled with a lot of and jokes so, that kids don't get. And so is Higurashi. Who? I'm Never mind. You remember Corpse Party, right? Oh. Imagine no. that leveled up a few times and you'll get Higurashi. No, 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 no. Sounds amazing. No, no, no. no. It was fantastic. But you, but you obviously, <laughs> but you have no thoughts on this movie. <laughs> Me? Yeah. I have no opinion because I didn't watch it. It's a good idea, I guess. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Matt? Uh, Speak up. Bonk. Uh, no. <laughs> I have no opinions. I did not see the Lego movie kill me, please. Bastard. Heartless bastard. Hey. You're more heartless than him. He watches hey. more family films. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, wait, wait. What do you say? Eh. We'll see. What did you say? We'll see. We'll see you about like a half an hour when we find when we get to Blu-ray releases. Okay, no, Matt, on. that's one say? family what movie. Say? What? What'd you say? What I say what? When you called your homeless person, what'd you do? I was like, ah, 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 ah. I was like, <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> you're oh funny. God, he's fapping again. Ah! He's fapping the scrub. <laughs> oh my God. Keep tuning on my guitar, please. Okay. It's your but guitar. But I love this because Ray Fiennes. I love this because Ray Fiennes is awesome, and he's Voldemort, and he's M. In the <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, it's not like that. Shut up. I don't care. Ooh, that's a good. Story. The next news story is a very interesting story for me because not for Matt because Matt hasn't. You know what? I don't think any news story that we're talking about Matt has any comments on no. except for the last one. Numi Rapace is in talks to portray Amy Winehouse in biopic about her. I like this news very much because I love Numi Rapace, the original Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Uh, Ooh, she's... that was a good movie. And, um... I love the ending. It was just so satisfying. No spoilers, really, because not everyone has seen it. Oh, movie. no, it was just... It was my kind Wait a of minute, sad. are you talking about the sweet... Or the non-English one, or are you talking about the English one? Non-English one. The non-English one? The one with the... Swedish. The subtitles. The Swedish, yes. Yeah, the one where she runs away. High five, man. Quality. Bitch, you need to watch those. Better than the American I, I version. I can give my seal of approval. I'll just take his word for it. Take a non-movie watcher. I'm surprised you saw it. But um, um she is in talks to play Amy Winehouse, who is... Oh my god, Amy Winehouse. What a terrific singer. It's sad that she's no longer with us. I saw the documentary, really? Amy. She's um, dead? Yeah, she's what dead. The? What happened? Uh, she died four years ago. Her documentary came out this summer. I loved that documentary. I'm really excited to see where it goes with the Oscar because I think it's currently the front runner for best documentary feature. Hope it gets nominated. But um, I can see her playing Amy Winehouse. I think she's a very good actress, and I liked her pretty much in everything I've seen her in. So yeah, I think this is very good news. Well, it's Naomi Rapace, the only movie I've seen her with was. Promethean. Um, Promethean. She was in Sherlock Holmes 2. Was she? Oh, yeah. Speak up! Yeah! There's nothing else I could say. Just, don't just mind skip, me! Just, just skip everything. Just for me, just don't. You know, I'm going to keep saying the same thing. Finally, the final news story. Speaking of the girl with the dragon tattoo. The girl with the dragon tattoo sequel is happening. This really? time, This time, not to the Swedish version. They already did all those films. But this is to the American one. This time... Possibly. Good God! What are you so excited Matt, for? Matt, this is the uh, first impossible and, and st this is the worst Fincher film I've seen. No, why is he so excited? Because a girl is in the title. No. That is why he's excited. No. Curve. No, I Stick like. Out of Let me finish the story. Fine. This time, possibly without director David Fincher and stars Daniel Craig and Rooney Morrow. The film will be based on, on the fourth novel, The Girl in the Spider's Web. It's also reported Ooh, that future Oscar nominee Alicia Vikander <laughs> is being looked at to replace Morrow's role as Elizabeth. Now, 
Here is the this deal. Is no, here is the pissed. shut up. Here is the shut up. <laughs> here is the deal. Now, as I said like five minutes ago, I love the Swedish version of the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. I like the other two films. Yeah, there's three of them because there's three books. Three minutes, not three movies. I said three minutes ago. Five. Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> I, I love that trilogy. Uh, I like the American remake. I love myself, David Fincher, because he is one of the greatest directors we have. And Daniel Craig, who we'll be talking about later on in this episode. Um, and Rooney Mara were both terrific. I'm glad Rooney Mara got an Oscar nomination for this movie. Now, the thing is with this, I know that they, they didn't know they were going to make a sequel because of the money issue. But I can understand why they would make a fourth one. Uh, rebooted with this fourth book because this movie has yet this book has yet to be ad adapted to the screen and Alicia Vikander is actually really perfect for this because she's killing it in everything I've seen her in and she's probably gonna get an Oscar nomination this year for um the Danish girl so I am looking forward I'm interested in this and I'm curious to know who's gonna direct the film so yeah I'm interested in this news but it's kind of sad that it's not happening with the people get up you know I had my eyes on I know, but stop snoring. I hate the snores. I have to deal with snores every single night. Don't ah, get offensive, though. That tickles though. my nose. Oh, God. What did you say? <clears throat> that tickles my nose. <laughs> no. What did you say? I said no day from Fincher, though. Aw. That's sad. More than that. Great news. Can you please give your thoughts on the whole story? As I said, great news. I mean, she's really good, Alicia Vikander, all right? You only saw her in The Man from Uncle. Still, she was really good. But that's not a great film. She but she's was still so good. good. <laughs> Watch that smoking up. <laughs> well, also, if I remember, isn't she uh, from Denmark? Yes. So it fits. Rule but twenty-eight. What the hell's rule twenty-eight? Stop asking him what the rules are. No Let way. him say his rules. <laughs> no matter how big it is, it will fit. Now. Let's get to the tr <laughs> now we have ten. Ahem. Now we have ten. Ten trailers to talk yes, about. It actually is. Ten trailers to talk about. Here we go. Warcraft in, is probably the biggest trailer this week. Shut Warcraft. up! Yeah, like, Shut up! Yeah, like I get it. <laughs> talk about it. Warcraft. Now I've been interested in this movie because it's from Duncan Jones and Hello. everything. Back to the news show. Um, now, with Warcraft, because it's directed by Duncan Jones, who is the it? son... Yeah, I unpaused it. Um, it's... D Duncan Jones is one of the most interesting people ever because he is the son of one of the greatest musicians of all time, David Bowie. And, um... Um, I loved Moon. I love Source Code. I'm curious... I've been curious Giggity. about this movie. I've been curious about this movie because... Maybe with a good director like him, maybe we could get our first good video game movie. And I gotta say, and we're just reviewing the trailers. We're not giving our thoughts on the actual movie. We're just reviewing the trailers themselves. Um, now the trailer itself, I liked it. I'm curious to see where this movie goes. I'm not really a Warcraft fan. I don't think Nathan none is either. None of us are. Yeah, no. none of us are. And Matt's uh, the big PC gamer, and he's not even a big. Player. I've never touched it. Exactly. That sounded wrong. No, I no, we know you've touched it, but we know you haven't. Uh, no. ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. I thought you were going to do your laugh. Ow! Oh, my wrist don't suddenly crack. Well, back to the back to the trailer review. I like the trailer, and yes, I know the CGI doesn't look great yet, but we have seven months until this film comes out. The CGI will probably be good by then. But I did like the trailer. I got a good medieval vibe from it. I got a good fantasy vibe from it. I like the actors in the movie. I'm really curious about this movie, and I think it looks pretty cool. Nathan, what were your thoughts on this trailer? I want one of those wolves. And why is that? Because you said the reason before we recorded. Because I would look like the baddest motherfucker if I had a mutated giant Siberian husky that was actually trained for combat. Do you know how badass that would be? That and I've always, I've always wanted a pet wolf or a husky, so that just works. But give your thoughts on this trailer. I don't give a flying fuck donut. <laughs> a fuck donut? Shout out to the dog. Yeah, that's what he uses. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> a fuck Yuck. donut. I don't use a fuck donut. Gross. Admit it. You know it. I guarantee you're going to give that guitar a rim job, you fucker. Ew. Bros before hoes, bitch. <laughs> Gross! 
Gross! <laughs> yeah. It weren't there, Brian. Gross! It's gonna get deeper. Oh! And it's gonna get loved. <laughs> <laughs> well, that leads to Matt's thoughts on this trailer. No, 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 man. Calm That's down. What this is, Brian, this is what happens when you have a room full of men. Get a girl in here! Men, men. <laughs> At least I'm trying to get girl. Oh wait, no, we have a girl. Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god, he is a girl. <laughs> <laughs> Mike Bell, because of one reason, one reason only, Matt is a girl. No, I can prove it. Bell, yeah, her facial hair. No, hold on, hold on. Look at me. On. You have no facial hair, no, bitch. Hold on, hold on. Let me see. That's fake. Test, test one, two. Brian's crotch. Ah. Alrighty. Ah. All right, My well, ears hurt. Talk about that the was trailer. cold. No. <laughs> Did you just know the guitar? Okay, yes. I've, you messed up the tuning. I've never played one minute of of freaking World of Warcraft. Oh, we know you played more than a minute. I've never played it. At least lies. No, I'm no, not. No, 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 not not the actual game. Fuck you. Ah! Come on, Nathan. Let's cue the laugh in three, two, one. Ah! <laughs> ah! Giggity. You killed it! Giggity, 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 goo. All right. <laughs> Lady. All right. Could you please give your thoughts on this well, fucking trailer? Well, if you both would stop fapping, jeez. Okay. Fapping? Hey, I'm fapping. He's not. Leave Damn. him out of it. Okay, fine. <laughs> I'm looking! <laughs> okay. I ever played it. I don't know crap about this universe. Neither do I. Other than that, orcs and stuff are in it, which, yeah. Orcs are Lord of the Rings! No, there's orcs. No, there's actual orcs in it. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> and pandas and shit. Orcs, I'm uh, aware there's pandas in this. In the fantasy genre, orcs are everywhere, especially in the video games. But I do like orcs, what I like. Goblins, dwarves. Can't you what I like elves. about this trailer though, and I kind of like how they're not doing the whole typical oh, orcs are bad, humans are good. I mean, there's some or the orcs are doing it. They have a purpose to do it. Christ's sake! I'm not doing gonna say it. why. I'm not they're say, doing it. I'm not gonna say why they're trying to fight the humans, but it's an interesting reason. Oh, so you And know. I think the visuals are really good. No, they said it in the trailer. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. I was too focused on the I can't wall. say it for the audience's sake. I don't want to spoil it. The trailer's out. Well, for people who haven't seen it. Nathan, remember- The trailer's out! Nathan, there's some gifted people that haven't seen it. So calm down. What? Gifted? Like me? No, not like you. Okay. Don't be an asshole. Sheesh. Well, I'm trying to say gifted like they might not have internet. or Just oh. calm down. I am perfectly calm. You will fight my wrath! Ah! But I'm trying to say, I think the ah! visuals look really good for a trailer. And a video game movie in general, it actually looks like they actually put effort into the movie. Ah. Finally, I've been waiting for one to actually put effort into it. Thank God. Other than that, I mean, I'll see it just because the visuals look... Damn, they look good. Ow! <laughs> plus, plus you have Tony Stark's father as the king. God damn it. That's all I gotta say. Do you even know what Tony Stark's father's name is? Howard. Damn it. Wow. Even then I... why did you call him Howard Stark? Because... There's no other Stark except for Tony and Howard. I'm the one that does the Marvel in DC, and even I didn't know that. They said in the... Have you seen the movies? No. Matt Christ. doesn't. N Nathan doesn't pay attention to the movies. I don't watch movies. Like the Captain America ones, or no. Fine. No. Fine. No. Fine. Is that a jizz? What? That fucking stuffed animal looks like a drop of fucking. No, that's a Hershey kiss. <laughs> kiss, huh? Oh God, you. You are weird as. Thank All you. right, bring it over. moving bring it on. Over. Next trailer. Hey, don't, don't you touch that. He said so. You sit down. Don't kill the messenger. What did you say? I said don't kill the messenger. I, will I mistook this for a drop of something. No one can see it, Nathan. This is it's audio a, version. It's a Hershey kiss with the face on it. Yeah, it looks really weird. It looks really, really weird. Don't abuse them. They have thoughts. That's in the wrong spot. Uh, lift up your pants! That's in the wrong spot. I'll fix it later. Next trailer. Alice Through the Looking Glass. The sequel to Alice in Wonderland from 2010. Man. Now, 
that was one of the most disappointing films I've ever seen. I don't hate the film. I was just very disappointed with it. I love the original Alice in Wonderland, and I was pretty excited for this one, but I was let down by it. Um, when they announced the sequel like two years ago, I'm like, eh, I, it's a little late in the game for that, but okay. Tim Burns not directed this. It's directed by James Bobbin, who directed the recent. Bobbin! Who directed the two recent Muppet movies. Bobbin! So that's an interesting. I'm trying to be the hoopla guy from fucking SpongeBob. Hoopla! Hoopla! Oh. <laughs> um. And those two Muppet movies were good, especially the first one. Um. Now. Remember, we're just talking about the trailers. While my expectations from the movie are pretty low, I gotta say the trailer was pretty decent. Um, what I like about it is that, from what I read, it's both a prequel and a sequel to Alice in Wonderland. What? Because she has to travel back in time to fix stuff. Ah, oh, it's called a prequel. cliche. It is cliche, but you know what? It looks pretty Fuck. good visually. It looks like it's going to do the Tim Burton visual side, but it doesn't. It looks like it's gonna be a big improvement over the Tim Burton film, and I'm looking forward to this movie. I like the addition of Sasha Brennan Cohen as time. I like, I like that. It's very clever. And, um, yeah, I am looking forward to this movie slightly, but I'm going in with very low expectations. Yeah, unlike last time, where you're like, it's gonna be so good! Cream. <laughs> cream. <laughs> I think someone said cream when I walked out of the fear. Cream. The hell that was on. cream. <laughs> no, one of the recent things that I say when I defeat Matt and he starts getting furious. I say, "Hmm, somebody's cooking. Somebody's cooking chicken. Somebody bring the salt." Oh wait, ah! salt! Ah! That's good. Salt. <laughs> that Helen. Sorry, Bonner, Matt. That, that Helen Bonner. Uh, the Helen. What the Bonner fuck was that? Carter lab. Helena. Yeah. Bottom Carter, not Helen. Helen. Bah Helena. <laughs> Who the fuck is Helena? Helena Hell Bottom Helena. Carter. Bottom Carter. Helena Bottom Carter. Yes, that's her name. Bottom? Yeah, Bottom. It's pronounced Bottom, but it's spelled B O N H A M. <laughs> Helen, Helena. Bottom! I can't. Okay, just. <laughs> <laughs> so. Terrible. Okay, let's just say the red bitch is laugh. That's all I'll say. <laughs> her name is the Red Queen! Still the red bitch. Agreed. Oh, bitch, you haven't even seen the first one. That's what you told me before we recorded. Well, that's what, what she's based on. What the fuck is that? What? It's gum. gum. Oh, it's a pack of gum. Why are you... Gum with hand sanitizer He's in it. He's trying to stick hand sanitizer in it repeatedly. No, I did not. In and out. Somebody sexually What is this, the porn episode? My God. Matt, shut up and give your thoughts on the trailer. Remember, we're reviewing just the trailer. Well, I'll say that... I like the idea of time as a person. That's pretty cool. All the time. Many people have done Yes. It. No, but I mean actually in Alice in Wonderland. Because everything's a person in it. Even Oops. even playing cards. Yes. That's fucked up. Mm -hmm. So it just makes sense to have time, especially as the main villain, probably. Which it looks like from the trailer. Don't stop looking at me. Uh, Is I that don't, a telescope? But I don't really care. Yes, but it's broken. I don't really Can care, I though. It? I mean, maybe I didn't really watch <laughs> that much the first one that break. came out with t that Tim Burton did. I didn't really care for it. I mean... You man. didn't care for it! <gasps> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. No. I mean, and... it looks better, but I don't care, basically. You don't care about many family movies. Surprisingly, you saw a family film today. Two family films today! Because you'd probably kill me. Because you have no soul if you don't no, go see at least one family. Get... Oh, oh, please. I have no soul. Okay. Awkward. Time to Time kill Time to Matt. go blade on your ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Moving on to the next trailer. I think I knocked the mat out. Moving on to the next what? trailer, which I probably should have shown Nathan. So I'm going to show Nathan that trailer first, and then Shadow. we're going to talk about that trailer. <laughs> so be back in like five seconds. Five, four, feature one. So now the trailer we'll talk about is Kung Fu Panda 3. Okay. Now I'm going to give my thoughts on this. Uh, I love the first two Kung Fu Panda films. I think they're both terrific. And Second one was better. I agree 100%. A sequel that is superior to the first one. That is how sequels are done, Lord of the Rings! Hey, all the Lord of the Rings films are good. Yeah! <laughs> um, 
But um, what I I I, 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 I thought this trailer was funny. I thought it was. Yeah. I, I think because the teaser was okay, but this trailer was actually really yeah, funny, <laughs> and um, I dug it very much. And I am looking forward to this movie. I love the addition of J.K. Simmons as a villain. I love you. that Brian Cranston, aka Walter White, is playing Poe's father. Walter White is a panda. That is so terrific compared you to his character break. Wait, say your precious Breaking Bad you thing. You dug it? Nobody says that anymore, you crotchety old ginger! <laughs> but, I liked the trailer, I enjoyed the film, and I am looking forward to it. I'm surprised it's coming in. Yeah. Have a piece. You were just sticking... It wasn't open. I have one from the very bottom. Um, but, um... I thought the trailer was funny, and it looks like a lot of fun. Here, I your breath and I breath. love the ending of it with the chit chat scene. How about you spare me the chit chat? Oh, chit chat, chit chat, chat chat, chat chat, chit chat. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> and he's a chicken. But I yeah, I dug this trailer, and I'm looking forward to this movie. Let me just say that trailer deserved not one but two face palms. Good or bad? Eh, both. It's just explain the so, good and then explain the bad. I don't even really remember. All I remembered is I had my hand to my face twice. But it's just, it was really weird. I'm looking forward to the movie, definitely. I don't see anything bad that could happen. But from what so many other movies have done with their, with their sequels, the second one was good. The second one was phenomenal. I especially liked how they expanded on Tigress, because she's one of my favorite characters. Play Eminem song. And also, and also... And also, like, the deep story of how, like, you know, we reveal that the goose is not Poe's father. Which, I mean, we all expected, but then, like, it was... Oh, yeah! The story was very sad. Like, how did that excited. little wiener make that big man? It doesn't... It doesn't fit! Obviously, it doesn't, doesn't fit! Came out it doesn't match! Do no! Matt! Afro circus, Afro circus, Afro. Fuck it up, fuck it up, fuck it up, giggity! The DreamWorks. Really? Giggity! The DreamWorks meta humor, no, though. Mm -hmm. But yeah, continue your thoughts on this trailer, though. But I, I'm i really looking forward, because I've fallen off the uh, Kung Fu Panda's Legend of Awesomeness, which told more story. That was not I don't, the show. I don't know if it was canon, but no, I went, I went for the story. I don't know if it was canon or not, but I really appreciated learning. But it wasn't the same because Jack Black wasn't voicing him. It sounded like Jack Black, but I knew it wasn't Jack Black. Yeah, I knew it wasn't Jack Black, but it really sounded like him. So yeah. I didn't care. And I didn't go just for Jack Black. I went for the fucking panda and tiger. Yes. Rule 34. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Give the mic to Matt. Let's hear Matt's thoughts on this trailer. I've only and seen... And now, let us entertain all of you with the bubble. Shut I've only seen the first Let go of the mic! I will hold it. I've only seen the first movie. Ah! Really? Yes. You haven't seen the second one? No. You really need to see it. I know. It's phenomenal. I can tell you I that. can tell you he's going to tie me to a chair, bro. <laughs> you're pointing at the wrong person, bitch. I will tie your ankles together, and I will force feed you, Both of you. your precious broccoli while you watch the no, movie. No, Matt bro. likes broccoli on pizza. What does he, what does he not like? What does he not like? Matt, nothing. Like then I will force feed you salmon. Fuck that. Ah! I will make you try to eat a jellyfish. No. If you do not eat, if you no. do not watch this movie. No. No. But, no. no. Matt, because only a Russia shark eat you. Don't you mean you eat shark? Could you please no. give your thoughts on this? Because shark already in my country. <laughs> shark already eats you though. Oh, never mind. All right. Watch. I think this. that it's kind of Move funny it. how a former meth maker is voicing his his dad. Oh, Walter White. Yes, that's why I said like that took me a minute. The, like the scene where he says, "Come, there's a panda village." I guess imagine him saying, "Come, there's a panda village. And we're making meth." <laughs> Want to get on you the operation? You said that during I know, the trailer. But that's why every time I hear that, I think of that for some reason. You have a weird imagination. I that's think, coming from the fucked up person. I think the trailer has some good comedy. Personally, oh, the movie is going to be hilarious. Yes, especially the chicken part at the end. Even the chicken is going for it, and he's a chicken. I love that. <laughs> that chick, actually, that chicken looked like from Despicable Me 2. Really? That looked like the Spanish guy's chicken. Hmm. And okay. It looked like him from Feudal Japan with fucking knives Wait, for her wings. Wait, you saw Ted, right? 
Oh, yeah, that's right, you have. Rem really? Wait, you're wait. asking the wrong person. Wait, remember the um the goose? And he was like, come on, James Franco! Remember that? The Asian guy said, you will pay for wall, little fuckers! <laughs> <laughs> no, but continue, uh, Matt. Yeah, uh, I think, though, that it'd probably be really good, because I know the second one was really good. I mean, may it may not be better than the second one. Because yeah, the second one's going to be hard DreamWorks has proven... Well, not really. I shouldn't say that, because it's kind of untrue. I mean, Madagascar... Wasn't Madagascar 3 a really good success? I think it was. I hey, think it Madagascar was. 3 was good. Okay. I, I kind of fell off of yeah, Madagascar. Yeah, I was going to say, like, I was going to bring up the whole Shrek thing, but... With the third one falling off, but... What are you doing in my swamp? <laughs> they should have just left it in the Get swamp. Get out! <laughs> they should Don't just... They should just left it in the swamp, Don't man. Get... No. Get out of your swamp! No, Nathan, Nathan, they should have just left it in the swamp. Shrek! Shrek! Come here, Shrek! They should have just, just left it in the swamp. <laughs> you pissed Good him guy. off. He should have just taken out his massive swamp and... Oh, God, no. No. No, let's get out of here. Enough of the porno stuff. Let's, let's just start talking serious now. No, but come on, Matt. I think that the movie will probably do... It will be successful like the other two. Jack Black will again probably kill it as Poe. Oh, we know that Jack Black is gonna kill. I him. like the, but I like like the villain. He's like, the villain sound, looks familiar. He really yeah. does. But I know that I haven't familiar. seen him. But I've known. Was I've he seen in the him. second one? I feel like he was. I, I'd have because to I, I haven't it. seen the second one since it came out, which was like oh, that I like movie came weapons. out four years ago. Yeah, I my knowledge is a bit rusty on that. I really remember Tigress was amazing in that movie. She had more to do, like you said, in that film. Oh, fucking, her hands are extremely hardened, and they're immune to pain. Remember when she hugged Poe, and then Crane was like, huh? Like, he was like, Stop. Seriously. <laughs> that was, that movie, for that, that movie is gold. It should have won the Oscar. For that scene alone, that is right. But props to Rango, which is a great film. Oh, oh Rango won? Yeah, yeah Rango won. Rango was a good movie. So it props to that, but overall, Matt, you are still looking forward to this movie. Yeah, I mean, there's nothing hard, nothing wrong about Kung Fu Panda. I never hated it. We're gonna try to get him to watch the second one. We're yeah. gonna have him sit down, and we're gonna have him witness what we're praising. So if much. I can find, if I can find the movie somewhere, like on Netflix or I think Hulu, my dad owns it. If you have it, we should all watch it together yes. before that. We should binge watch the first two before this one comes yes. out. We should definitely consider doing that. I'll be fully on. Wait, isn't like wait? There wasn't the movies like the second vil uh, the second movie's villain like a swan or whatever. I uh, don't. No, it's is it crane the, or whatever. No, no, no. It's that bird with the really colorful tail. Is it what's a the name of that? I peacock. Don't... Yes. Oh, it was a peacock. Because I was thinking it. I'm like p p p. What the fuck is it? It's peacock. Yes. Let's let's move along. Uh, what are you looking up? I'm looking up to see what the villain was a... It was Peacock. Lord was Peacock. Shen. Lord Shen, yes. Peacock. Okay. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Next trailer, In the Heart of the Sea. I've been looking forward to this movie. I didn't want to watch this trailer, but it came on before Inspector. And I'm like, yeah, why not? I am very much looking forward to this movie. And What's I was the already... the movie? In the Heart of the Sea. It's about Moby Dick. Oh. It's so... Uh, in the... Nah. In the heart of in the, the sea. In the heart of the sea. <laughs> sounds like a poem. It really does sound like a poem. And it's it's from Ron Howard, who is a very poetic filmmaker. Who's Ron Howard? Ron Howard, Ron the Z. great filmmaker. And, Name and you're gonna laugh. He has made Apollo thirteen. Apollo thirteen. Name more. Rush. Beautiful mind. Name more. Splash. Frost Nixon. I give up. Yeah, you wouldn't know it, but I'll tell you this, and you'll be happy by this. He's a ginger. You'll be happy by that. Fascinating. <laughs> I already you're... have my one at home that I can mock. I don't need to mock a famous one. Uh, uh, ah. Well, maybe you will be mocking one someday. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> Become famous and I will mock you. Still. <laughs> but for enjoyment. Not for enjoyment? Are you kidding me? I'm not you. I'm not gay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Gay? That's too far. Gay? I think we've broken the too far border what already. What is the next tonight. trailer? Cause, oh yeah, Can Norris you please give your thoughts on this trailer, though? Okay, I'll say it, because I've seen it. He hasn't. I've seen the trailer. No, he. Like, I mean, Nathan. Don't give him the... He likes to listen from me. I know more about this than you. Well, You've I, always seen, let's see... One, I don't two, care who I hear. Two Ron... Ha no, three Ron Howard movies. Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Rush. I've only seen one good one. Fast. Um, 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 Stop it. 
Well, I'm, I'm, not gonna, I'm definitely not going to see this in IMAX because it's going to make my ears bleed. What? If that's the point of IMAX. Oh, my ears. Ah, oh, it made my ears hit. No, bleed. Ah, no. Stop. Um, I think that the movie mm -hmm. looks incredible. Mm -hmm. by visual, Just by visuals alone, mm -hmm. I think the acting is mm -hmm. going to be very good. Oh. I hope it gets really... <laughs> and I think, like, based on the trailers I see, I think it's going to get really dark with the survival story. Anything that well, yeah, involves tone. Moby Dick! Well, no, 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 but it looks like... Is it just me or does it look like there's some kind of cannibalism going on here? Any movies? kind of dark theme immediately gets a thumbs up from me, regardless of what it is. Like... Except for Twilight. Looks, Twilight can go suck some It things. looks really good, though. No, I mean, I wish it did come out, what was it, in March originally supposed to come out? Yeah, but they pushed it back because, you know, with the whole American Sniper success, they wanted to do a yeah. formal Oscar thing. I see. <laughs> but I still think, though, it looks <laughs> it, it looks really, really good. I think Chris Hemsworth's going to kill it. I think Brandon Gleason's going to do really good. And was, let, let's talk about the young kid, shall we? The young Spider-Man, you want to call him, or Peter Parker, or... Yes, our new, our new Spider-Man. Tom Holland... Again, well, you haven't seen really anything good. with him yet. No, I haven't either. No, I have. Hey, I have yeah. seen some with him. A little film called The Impossible. I'm done. That's it. You're not gonna give your final thoughts oh, on this looks trailer. Really good. There you go. Okay, next one. Moving on. I was so Animo, to the second trailer. Animo Lisa. Now this is the most interesting Animo trailer Lisa. I think of this entire week. This film was directed by Charlie Kaufman, the guy, the fantastic writer who wrote films such as Eternal Sunshine and the Spotless Mind. Being a John Lockwich an adaptation, the guy won the Oscar for writing Eternal Never Sunshine heard of, it. of the Spotless so Mind. See, you're not a film lover. You wouldn't know those films. I know John Malkovich in them, though. You never heard of Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless so Mind? The film that showed that Sounds Jim like Carrey is like an amazing oh, dramatic yeah, actor. Sunshine. Eternal Sunshine. <laughs> now, when I think of Sunshine, I think of that. Never mind. We'll not talk about it. Let's just continue with the trailers. This is a very. Thank, thank you, Sprout. Oh, <laughs> Give me my. <laughs> it's my. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here. This is a very and now we will witness the ginger's thoughts. Please continue. This is a very interesting trailer. It's so heartbreaking. It's like the more heartbreaking version of Team America because it's motion capture puppets and it it stop motion and um it looks terrific. It looks so sad and it looks <laughs> heartbreaking and I'm hearing great things about it. I am so looking forward to this movie because I really love Charlie Kaufman's work and it really looks heartbreaking. I'm really I'm really looking forward to this movie because I'm curious to see how realistic it is. There was a quote in the trailer that said it's the most human film of the year, and yet there's no humans in it. It's just puppets. And not the campy kind of puppets, like the realistic kind. And it really looks excellent. I'm really looking forward to this movie. He means ventriloquist dolls when he says that. <laughs> um, so, like, Jeff Dunham? No, but it's not, like, comedic. This is, like, seriously hardcore shit. Like, Ooh. it's gonna deal, like, with depression and stuff like that, probably. Ooh! I want to watch. I want to watch. I need you want to watch this trailer? I'll show you. I need more material. Later. Like, it, what's interesting is that how... I mean, because I, I watched a trailer, like, last week. Or not really, technically not yet last week. But it's about last week soon. In, like, two days. But... Nobody needs to go that technical. This this movie looks... Like... What I find interesting is that it, it deals with real-life stuff, but without real people. Like Brian said. Ouch. It's so, so different, and so yet like adult, you know, for using puppets basically, or ventriloquist dolls, or stop motion claymation, whatever you want to call it. Giggity. It's, it's interesting. I'll tell you that it's interesting. Hopefully, it. I mean, I know. Didn't you say the last like rated R movie got they got nominated? Never got nominated for like an. Anime picture. I don't think a radar film has ever been nominated for Best Anime Feature. Well, change your Oscars, because you might have one on your hands. A lot of people predict that it's going to get nominated. So. It should. I'm hearing a lot of good things about this, and what I'm hearing is a lot of depressing, dark, and very serious stuff. I'm going to I'm gonna show you the trailer after we record the episode. I am looking forward to getting more material for my story, so bring on the horror! But you know what the sad thing is? It's going to come out limited release at the end of December, and it's going to expand wide in, in January, which I don't like. When this film ends up being my favorite film of the year, this film is like my kind of film. I love serious films. I Drama might just be my favorite Yet genre. Yeah, you wimp out of fucking corpse party! Oh! I said drama, like actual drama. Actual, true what? life drama. Being trapped in an abandoned school in another dimension isn't enough drama for you? That's scary. That's horror, not That's drama. Suspense. Suspense. Suspense is drama. But drama, I mean, like, 
actual human Oh, I love drama. you. No, I love her. No, not that. That's drama. Not, not that, but necessarily. But yeah. Uh, yeah, but it looks excellent. <laughs> Next trailer. The Hateful Eight, directed by Quentin Tarantino. Obviously, Who? we don't really have to... Quentin Tarantino, the guy who made Pulp Fiction, Kill Bill. Kill Bill, Dango okay. Unchained. Thank you. Um, Finally, a movie that you said that I know. Um... This film Kill looks. Bill. That that, was already, yeah, I'm already excited for this film. I don't really have to go into the trailer. I'm really looking forward to this movie. I think this film might be your kind of film too. So I'll show you the trailer for this as well later on. Ow! Yeah, that's it. Trailer review A plus. Love this trailer. Good job, Matt. Give your thoughts on this trailer. What are you skipping okay. me? Let me listen. You didn't see this trailer. Kill Bill. I talk. Oh, what do you love about Quentin Tarantino? Even though you love Kill Bill. Kill Bill. Are you kidding me? The level of gore. Oh my god, What's it was so satisfying. What's the name Kill Bill? Well, not just that. Did I tell you an interesting fact, Matt, about related to Kill Bill? Did yeah. I tell you that the girl who played the um Lisa and Steve Jobs was the bride's daughter? Really? Did I tell you that? No. Oh, I didn't? Oh. In Kill me. Bill, there's this one scene where there's a bunch of ninjas in there. And after the scene is over, it's like, the anybody floor. who can still leave, leave. But leave your body parts. They're mine now. That is amazing. Don't you mean like the the, the part of the dance floor scene where like she cuts up like hundreds? That's what I was saying. People, yeah. I really want to watch Kill Bill again. I do too. Oh my god, it was so gory. I was shaking. That's in the excitement. thing with him. He is a very gory director, but he's so awesome. Even though he's dealing with a lot of controversy right now outside of what's going on in the real world, but yeah, um, great trailer. I mean, you gotta watch this. Is, this trailer might just be for you because I think you'll like this story of how these people are in a cabin and there's this one person they don't know who to trust. A cabinet. Cabin. Oh. And they don't know who to trust. Cabinet. Did I say I thought cabinet? You said cabinet. Yes. Did I say cabinet? I I'm sorry. I, I, meant, cabinet. I, meant, I meant cabin. I'm like, ooh. Use a sausage party here, kids. Seven minutes in heaven. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Rule 34. Seven, seven Rule men. Rule 34. Seven men, one woman. Sausage fiesta. Funny, <laughs> funny story. The woman's a convict. Ultimate. Ultra Sausage Fiesta Turbo! But yeah, Nathan's gonna like this trailer. Matt, obviously, we're all excited for this film, but uh, I mean, just if you want to give your thoughts on this trailer, what do you have uh, to say? Stop fucking with your eyeglass case! Well, let's just say, fun fun story here, kids. Uh, he fucked up my case. So that's not me, I didn't touch not, it. Not for yeah, you're me. like $2 no, case. Fuck you. <laughs> it was free, by the way. Well, why? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I'm not even Indian, but that's racist. Cut that out! Cut that out! <laughs> you offended Shit. half of his staff. Whoa! <laughs> it's not okay. What the fuck? Cut that out! Cut seriously! Cut that Indian part out. I'll try my best. We're sorry, Simon. Uh, like, I'll uh, censor it. Okay. Okay, but thank this you. This reminds me. I mean, okay. <laughs> let's say I watch a lot of YouTube, and when I watch this run review of an exploitation film, like when I first heard it, it's a hateful. Oh play. God, him and his reviews. No, like Who, I, me? No, no, no. This oh. is this is not like not you. Let's just say like it was interesting because when I looked at this and uh, hateful, Eight, I mean they weren't the exact same, but they had the same idea of a bunch of people who were either convicts or bounty hunters or you know are all trapped yes. together, basically. Well, let's not dive on this topic which, too long. Which I think, I think that that's where Quentin Tarantino got his inspiration from, was from this movie. It's called but Quentin Tarantino's ideas are all original. No, no, but Except he, for no, Jackie but he Brown. Took inspiration, he took inspiration from it. I'm sure he did, but still. The cut, what was it called? Cut the nine there? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know, yeah. Ah. But, like, again, a deal with stuff like that, you know. But, but go back to this trailer, Plus, had a lot of gore, but, um... Gore? Yeah, had a lot of gore. But get back to this trailer! <laughs> but stop, okay. I think that it looks really good. I mean, Here, what I mean by really good is Quentin Tarantino, okay? The dude is amazing. The dude is How amazing. How amazing? Huh? Well, for, for <laughs> me... <laughs> never mind. But... How well do you know his amazingness? <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, but Sam Jackson, okay, he's going to kill it. He's bending your case more. I know. He's trying no, to I'm, try, I'm trying to fix it. You can I'm see sure. the, what, what, what the problem is. Yes, yeah. I can see it. Uh... I, mean, I don't Sam know Jackson's, how I did it. Sam Jackson's going to kill it, probably, as Lieutenant Colonel, whatever the hell he is. Lieutenant Colonel? Is that what you were going to yeah, say? Yeah, like, that's his rank. Um, it actually, did they say it that? Act, yeah, actually, yeah, and, like, the thing is, he's, like, Lieutenant Colonel, whatever. It they actually, said that? It actually no, and, like, is the a casting. rank in military. Ca casting. Oh, Woo! I didn't really look at the casting information? I have to look what again. What the hell is that? 
Oh, it's an audio clip um, that we'll play later on in this episode. The, oh, I think I know what this probably is, but I'm not going to say it. Um, I'm just guessing. Yeah, come on. But, uh, uh, rat, I think on that the rest of the cast is, looks really good. I mean, Kurt Russell, congrats that he's doing a move, another movie after um, Fast and Furious uh, 7. So, I, Kurt Russell's a good actor, okay? He's a really good actor. I couldn't agree more. Fascinating. Next trailer. On. 13 hours, The Secret Soldiers of Benghazi. Benghazi! The, the Michael Bay movie. Benghazi. Now, that just the trailer t- alone. Now, I have no clue how this movie's going to turn out. I don't even know the Benghazi story that well. I have no clue how this movie's going to turn out. This movie could easily suck, but the film could be good. It looks really good. And uh, But the trailer itself, I thought it was a really good trailer. I'm really interested in this movie, yeah, and too. I'm just going to say that. Yeah, Matt. That's what happened. Your thoughts on this trailer? See, the Ben. See, yeah. See, when I thought about this, when I first saw the first trailer, we're talking about you know months back. Yes. I was like, this looks like something like uh, what's his name was uh, who, um, what the hell is it? You know, Her- it looks like something that like Paul Berg would direct, basically. You mean Paul Greengrass? No, Ger- Pe- Berg. Peter Berg. Yeah, I mean Peter Berg. Yeah. I, I'm Paul sure Gert. Ger <laughs> from that's right. Invader Zim. Yeah, that's right. I, I confused. Paul Gert. I would confuse the two. Um. Like, it had, like, that type of, like, Lone Survivor-ish type of feel, I would say. And then when I saw, when I saw Michael Bay, I'm like, wait, that's Michael Bay? It doesn't look like Michael Bay. Because it sure has a lot of explosions, but it actually looks legit. Like, this movie looks real. But we don't know if it's going to turn out that way. We don't though. know. But, but we're just judging the but trailer. But based on the marketing, it, it, it looks really good. Because it would be interesting. Because I don't know I don't know shit about Benghazi. I'm a, per, I'm a person like this. That's I didn't even know about this story. I remember. I think I remember hearing about it. This was like yeah, a I week know. after we started high school, dude. I remember, a week after we started high school. I, mean, I remember I heard of like Benghazi. This year or in general? In general. Oh, damn. I don't even remember what the fuck happened. Then. Like with Benghazi, I I remember it like it was all Libya and stuff. It was 9/11, 2012. No, that's, that's when 2012. This... I thought it was 2007. No, 2012. This happened. Holy shit! No, because <laughs> it was in Libya. It was in Libya. No, 9/11 time. was 2001. Oh, wow! I was. I but was I'm talking about I'm talking about this event oh. took place in 2012. No, but the whole Benghazi thing is a very like interesting thing. So I hope like I want to know more. That's why I like this movie. It looks interesting. I want to know more about these people. You want to know who had the who's risking their life to protect the prime minister, or not the prime minister? The uh, fuck me, derp alert. The fuck me? <laughs> no, derp the alert. The fuck me? I'm trying to. Are you the, kidding me? The ambassador. There we go. There you go. Derp alert. The fuck me? The fuck me? <laughs> That's terrible. Can I have but, my, uh, <laughs> but next trailer, I don't know Matt's thoughts on this. I think I might. London has fallen. Olympus has fallen. has fallen was a fine film. I know a lot of people don't seem to like White House Down. I thought it was okay. I enjoyed Olympus has fallen. Yeah. I don't know how I feel about this sequel, but it looks like one guilty pleasure movie. And um, yeah, I'm curious about this. I really don't have much to say about this trailer, man. Your thoughts on this trailer? Well, it looks like the creators. Why the fuck do you have a tour book? Oh, it, because this is when we went to Canada. It looks like the creators took some notes from Twenty Four. Di- uh, whatever it was, live another day. <laughs> I'll take that. Um, again, by pushing it to London, but I think that this movie actually looks fun. It looks like they have a better villain in this movie than the last one. I don't even remember the villain. In it the was last the one. dude. It was the dude who played Zhao in uh, Die Another Day. I don't. It doesn't ring. I didn't see that James Bond one. It was the Asian dude with all the, with the fucked up face. Why do I feel Which like one? I know? I know who you're. Ta- I know who you're talking about. It's but the I guy who had the diamonds is. in his face. You know, the See, if you told me if he was in something else, maybe I would know who he is. I don't remember what else he's from though. That's the only one I remember it from. Well, can we move on? But what I mean, like, this trailer. What I mean by this, the, the villain looks more involved yeah. in it. Um, the action looks really clean, just like the last one, even though that helicopter was a little iffy. I kind of am upset that Antoine Fuqua's not directing yeah. this. That's the only problem with it. I have, like, the only issue is that he's not yeah. directing it. He's such a good director, Fuqua. Well, I mean, he did a good job with, tra- he did a great job at Training Day. He did good with the Equalizer, and he did good with Southpaw. Yeah, like, the dude's a solid director. He's, he hasn't made, like... I a- have never disliked this direction, no, ever. because even if it's a movie that's, that's very... saying something. Listen, like, even if it's I a- may have disliked one of his films, but not necessarily the direction. Yeah, like, even, like, if it's, like, one of his Matt films, they're fun to watch because of how stylistic and how brutal he is with his action. You remember on the scene from White House Down when he had the two, uh... Spoilers! Well, this is not really a spoiler. We had the two uh, Koreans tied up, and the one was laughing. Just... Wait, White House Down? No, not White House Down. 
You said, what was that? you said what house down. <laughs> no, I remember like, no, like they wouldn't go No, I remember more. what you're talking, I know what you're talking like about. Like the two, like the Korean was laughing, he just yes. stuck the knife in his head, I'm like, oh shit! <laughs> like, like shit like that, that's why he's such a good director, because he's so brutal. No, he's very good. He's very good too with it, like he hasn't overused like the blood and violence. Not at all. No, it's just, everything's justified, and hopefully it looks good, I mean it looks good the movie, hopefully it's good. Concussions are next movie star Will Smith. I have a concussion. Um, now, a few weeks ago, I went to the EW Fest in New York. Matt was originally supposed to come, but Matt decided to focus on school work. work. Um, and the director of Concussion was there, and he talked about a lot of just stuff involved in this movie, and I got more interested in it. Now, I like this. I'm looking forward to this movie more than I was originally. I was already interested in it because I, I grew up with Will Smith. and His accent's um, so good. Will Smith? The Fresh Prince of Bel Air. That's me, Smith. <laughs> but um, overall, I like the trailer, and it's not really any different. It's just a little new footage, and I'm looking forward to seeing this movie. I think it's going to be pretty good. Some people were saying that Will Smith might get an Oscar nomination. I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't. I wouldn't be surprised if he did. I would be happy for him. And yeah, it looks like it's going to be a comeback to a great performance from Will Smith. So yeah, I am looking forward to this movie. Um, What I like about this... Okay, every time I hear his voice... In this trailer, I love all. Both let trailers. me do. Let me do. Tell the truth. No. No. Tell the truth. No. Like, who uh, are you? Tell the truth. But in this one, it's, it's much. This one's much different. Yeah. I forgot the. I forgot hey! the line. No, hey! seriously. Hey! There's you. He's like, kiss my ass, get it. Tell, <laughs> tell the truth. Tell the truth. I just love that. He's just such, got such a good Nigerian accent. That's why I looked it up. I did research on the guy. Okay. He's lying. Um. Yeah, bend over, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> But, like, it just looks really intense. Like, it, it looks like there's going to be some crazy shit happening in this movie. Not like... I'm um, not talking about, like... I mean, crazy shit for, like, a, this type of movie, I'm saying. Yes. Like, there's a part where he picks up a gun, remember? And he's getting tailed by the NFL. Like, what? That's right, you heard the that. The NFL? The NFL, yes. What you the were... fuck is the football <laughs> doing in this movie? He's a doctor for the NFL. And he finds out... He finds out this concussion disorder where basically... His brain trauma. Well, it's, more, it's basically a concussion disorder. And what ends up happening is, like, the NFL wants to keep it hush-hush. You know what I mean? And he's like, no. He's like, no, fuck yeah. You yeah, basically, yes. He's like, fuck you, people. <laughs> yes. No, Kenny What's should... It? No, Kenny does it the best, I think. Yeah, he does. He can but, do it really good. But, yeah. Right. Now! I, uh, but Final Thoughts, man, before uh, we move on to the final trailer, which I cannot before, wait to when rant I, about. When I right. saw the... What's in this? Uh, costumes. Listen, guys, listen. When I saw the first trailer, I was already sold. Okay? That's all I gotta say. I didn't say I wasn't sold. I just wasn't as... I wasn't, like, as excited for it as I am for certain movies. No, but I was I don't sold. Give a shit. Like, this trailer just solidifies that how good Will Smith's gonna be in this movie. Regardless. I already knew he was gonna be good in the movie. Because, like, it looks... Again, like, bringing in these other things that you would be shocked that the NFL did shit like this. To keep it hush-hush. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It looks really good. Yes. Yes. Fascinating. Now we get to the final trailer. Now, I want to be very cautious when I talk about this trailer. I'm Too not, late! I'm not ranting about the movie itself. I'm just ranting about the trailer. So the final trailer we'll talk about is God's Not Dead 2. Dose. Dose? Um, okay. Uh, this trailer sucks. It's terrible. It's God's Not Dead. Terrible. What do you expect? Terrible. Quiet! It's not your turn! Religious movies, really? Yes. No thanks. Listen, listen. I don't... I'm not a religious movie guy. And if you're a religious movie fan, Some good for you. More I don't want to offend anyone out there. You got but, tissues in here? But I... I got some out there. I'll get them in just a minute. But I... This trailer is just so bad. It's so cliche. They gave away the whole movie. It's really dumb. I don't know why this movie's being made. But I do. I don't like it. It's so dumb. It's not a good trailer. It sucks. I actually think, and I and I might be going very far when I say this, and I don't know if Matt's gonna agree with me. The trailer for the road chip was better than this trailer. 
What is wrong with you? Exactly. What is wrong with me? I have no idea. I rather. Watch... I haven't seen either. I'm sorry, Sans. I rather watch God's Not Dead. What? Than watch a movie shit. that summoned religious stuff in your yeah, face? Yeah, because you can make fun of it because of how offensive it is. You can't make fun of religious stuff. Yes, you can. But you have to be very careful. I eat Kirk Cameron saving I'm not Christmas. Careful. Oh, we're gonna I'm bring around... up saving Christmas later. Yeah, I'm not <laughs> careful because I'm around you and you, a ginger and. A I'm Matt! <laughs> a ginger and Matt! <laughs> no, but like, I don't like this trailer. I thought it really was a bad trailer. No and shit, if you people want to sue me, go it. ahead, sue me. Sue you me. won't win, bitches. Yo, the Pope's gonna show up. No, you're like, not gonna get anything. I don't need a tissue anymore. Okay. Brian, my boy. Do it! Yo, the Pope's, I'm already sitting. Yo, the Pope's gonna come here. <laughs> yeah, but you're not sitting enough. He's like, <laughs> I marketed this movie. The Pope's gonna be like, Oh, I, I do have a tissue right movie. here. I didn't realize I had it right there. Whatever. No, but seriously, wasn't the first one like really bad? Yes. Yeah, with Dean Cass. Yes. Uh, hand me that. As a professor kiss thing. proclaiming what? that God the is dead. Kiss toy. Why? What are you gonna do with it? Hand me it. What are you gonna do with hand it? Hand me it. Don't touch Matt with it. I won't. And you see, I'm not gonna touch him. Get kissed. <laughs> okay, let's Where's just move on. Let's just move on. on. It's a religious movie. No one gives a shit. Sorry, uh, no one gives on. a shit. I have comments. Yes. But can you please review the trailer? I want to know your thoughts on this trailer. It's and I was just kidding about the chipmunk thing. It's piss poor hold shit. On, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. It's my turn. My opinion... Uh. My opinion is very, 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 very sad about this. Ow! I do not like this movie at all. I don't like religion. I don't... I just don't care. Hey, but be it. careful. There could be very religious... Heavy religious people out there listening to this That's show. right. That's, That's right, true. kids. That's Go, true. If you want to find Nathan, he lives by me. <laughs> Matt, shut the fuck up. <laughs> At least Matt did see the address. If you believe in religions and stuff like that, by all means, believe. I'm not here to offend. I'm just here to say I don't care. I am, both me and Matt are agnostic. We don't deny it, but we don't accept it either. Exactly. We just don't yeah. care. Yeah, see, so, I don't care either. Or the three of and us. And I don't want people to think that just because I'm a kid, I don't care about this. There are kids I know who care about this stuff. Yeah, there's there's a lot of kids that are younger than us I that agree. are very devout. Very, yeah, very religious. Very religious. Uh, I said religious. Religious. <laughs> 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 Brian, Brian, I eat Andrew. No, I'm just kidding. Just kidding, Andrew. I'll I'm eat. just kidding. I'll eat. Um, He's now! Motherfucker. But I just, it's not my thing. If you If you like it, more power to you. Brian, you shove that finger <laughs> up your fucking ass and shut up! I'm not gonna do it! Just do it! <laughs> Join the army! <laughs> Just do it! <laughs> but yeah, now, ladies and gentlemen, we get to the brewery releases. This is exciting. The, the first brewery release we have is Inside Out! Or Outside In. Outside what? In, my like penis! <laughs> no, there's no such He's thing. got a vagina! But he is a man! Shut up. Nice save. Nice save. Thank you. you now, know, do you, now, you do you're welcome, like Shane. You know we treat you like our own sister. What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. I'm just kidding. Um. <laughs> Relax. This, now. Eat my finger. Um. This is currently competing with The Martian as fingering. my favorite film of the year. I absolutely adored the this film. film. Fingering. Shut up! It's not your turn! Uh, when I saw this in the theater, I saw it at an advanced <laughs> screen, and I was lucky enough to see that at a very awesome screen, the insider access to Inside Out. It was a great, great experience. Who was there? No one was there. It was a live thing that was going on at many theaters. That's too bad. It was sponsored by Fathom Events. Who was at Wow, the... nobody here knows Who was that at the live you. thing then? Amy Poehler. Nice. Pete Docter, nice. the director, and the um, Who's writer. actually, who's really not a doctor? Shut up! Can I please give my thoughts on this remember, amazing oh, film? Wait, wait, you remember the Dr. Pepper thing we did a long time ago? Shut the fuck know. up about Dr. Pepper. I swear, if you keep talking about it, I'm going to take your mama, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to do that. I will pour the goddamn pepper over your face. Now shut the fuck up! Uh, shut the fuck Stop talking about your goddamn Dr. Pepper. I'm going to take your mother, I'm going to turn her upside down, I'm going to funnel on her ass, and I'm going to pour the goddamn pepper until her eyes bleed out. Now shut the fuck up! <laughs> Three year anniversary of that. Three, Three years. years. High five. Three years. Has it been that long? Holy yeah. shit. No, I um, think it's been like uh, two. Uh, two, maybe. Because I didn't start hanging until later. Yeah. And, um... I know, okay. But back to this movie. 
The voice acting was terrific. The animation was gorgeous. Watching this movie again on Blu-ray was amazing. It looked I'm so, picking your ears. So, so good. Uh, I love the writing. I love the direction. I love the pacing. It's such a fast-paced movie. It's so interesting. It's so heartfelt. Yeah. It's very funny. It makes me cry at times. It makes me laugh a lot. This is a great movie. It was Pixar's comeback, and I really, really love this movie. I, I just... It was something so relatable because everyone experienced this when they were like the age of Riley at like 11 and it was really engaging and terrific and I absolutely love this movie. <laughs> I gave it an A+. Plus. I would say buy the shit out of this movie. Now, Nathan, you just saw the movie for the first time today. Ah! What did you think of this movie? Hashtag so here, here. here, you can, you can have the mic. Oh, God, what a great movie. But, uh... Brian and Matt don't approve of how I enjoyed the movie. No, I approve of it. It's just that sometimes you you said, "Oh, I love this scene when he cries." Yeah. Like, no, it's I'm not in a sad way, in a happy way. No, I'm 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 kind of a sadist when it comes to this kind of stuff. I really enjoy hey. scenes like that. I've actually went to uh, one of my friends is studying as a doctor, and he actually described what I have as uh, uh, xenophonia, something like that. But pretty much pleasure in the misfortune of others. That Wait, is what he described phobia? it as. That no, no, phrenia. Oh, oh, I see. Oh, uh, I'll have to look that up. But Brian will post a comment later. I'll tell him about it. But it's just, I really enjoyed what the girl went through, how she handled it, but just not in the way that she's like, oh, I'm so glad that she made it. I'm like, I'm so glad she went through that. Because that's me. Cause that, that, everybody up. goes through that at that age. It's Boy or girl, up. you go through that at exactly. that age. Exactly. And for me, now, I actually enjoy seeing it. I enjoy seeing the darkness in other people. Because it tells me who they are. You pin somebody against a wall, and they are in a state of panic, you see who they are. You see if they're a coward. You see if they're brave. You see if they just fall apart. You see who they are. And you see, honestly. There's no way you can fake that. If you're afraid, you're honest. Nice. And that's just it. But that's what I enjoyed in the movie. But what else did you like about the movie? The comedy was interesting. I hate that jo joy. Joy. <laughs> joy. That joy. joy was I'm in joy. flowing the entire fucking time. That egg, that irked me. Insert wave. Insert rule 34. God damn you in rule 34. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how many times you said that during the movie? Oh, seriously. Whenever there was like a romantic moment, I'm like, and internet. Go nuts. <laughs> and Brian that here. Fanfic. Brian here actually didn't know what it is. Until you And told now me. he knows what it is. I don't want to describe to my listeners. So no, I we're can't. not going to describe but, it. But oh, just go back to the movie. We're going to put a disclaimer. For your own safety, do not look up anything we tell you. For your own safety. Thank you. Thank even you. Slender Man. No, but go back to this even movie. Slender, Slender Man. But go back to this movie. <laughs> just grabs a kid. <laughs> Gross! That got too far. Too Can you go far. back to this movie, Nathan? I know that it exists, though. Because curiosity. Yeah, go back to this movie, please. I really that. enjoyed the movie. It it made me feel things, you know? I wonder if it's, it was a doctor. Shh. To me. It's, it's not your doctor, turn. The director. It's not your turn yet. Did I not tell you when he wrote this movie? Because he's the guy who directed Up. And when Up came out... Up his made this? The guy who made Up, the guy who directed Up, directed Inside Out. And I know how much you love Up. Hold this. I fucking approve. That was a wonderful sense of darkness. I enjoyed that And thoroughly. the reason why he said that is because when Up was coming out, his star was feeling that way. Then shortly after Up came out, he started writing Inside Out. So, like, that's really interesting. I didn't find out about like, it until, like, shortly after I saw the movie. I showed you guys Kalalini. Yeah. Which is about schizophrenia. And that's kind of... Schizophrenia. Schizophrenia, sorry. Schizophrenia is yours. I pronounce it in like a German accent. Schizo. Something. But that Inside Out was actually a good follow-up for that because it shows what kids feel and what triggers it. You know, there's so much to learn. That's why I'm going into psychology because I want to learn 
what makes you feel what and why. It's such a psychologist. It's such a good feeling to learn and to know that you're more prepared to do something in the future. If you see somebody who's having the same problem that you figured out, save a life, save a world. That's how it is. But final thoughts on this movie. I think I've said enough. It's a fantastic movie. And what movie. would you give it grade wise? A double plus, bitch. Yes, and would you say and because we're on the buy and rent or skip it, you would say buy and rent or skip it. Fucking laminate it and stick it on your fucking wall and worship it. That means buy from Nathan. Two buys, two A pluses. I'm curious to know Matt's thoughts because No, Ma A double plus, bitch. A double plus, there we go. Now can you hand the mic to Matt. Matt, <laughs> well, here we go. S no, we need an S ranking. S rank. <laughs> S, definitely. Yes. Uh, like C B uh, A S. But Matt, give your expectations. I want to know your expectations for this movie first. Hey, I'm glad that you got that. I want to know your expectations first, and then you give talk about the movie. What you liked, that. what you might not have liked, and then you give your grade, and then you say whether you buy, rent, or skip it. Or worship it. Okay, <laughs> Brian, let's, let's just say Brian and all of his... Movie reviewer friends. Raj. It's just, it's, 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 it's entourage. Okay. His thugs. <laughs> no, Chase is not a thug. His boys. His little playmates. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God, Nathan. <laughs> Chase Nathan. Is like, Nathan. Chase is just watching this. <laughs> no, I can just see Chase watching this and being like, my God. <laughs> He's like, hey, if you're watching this, Brian's watching. Oh, boy. Right now. Oh, God. <laughs> okay. He's never mind. playing on a treadmill and he he's just got offended, his down. He's just offended all of his, like, movie buddies. Oh, my God. I don't care. Dude. I do MMA. They can kiss my ass, you fucking nerd. Well, can you please get your thoughts on this movie, okay. Matt? Okay. And stop looking like a whole. Yeah, tell him about how we were Shut all begging you to go see this movie, Matt. Okay, everyone. He just... <laughs> you were like... Okay, I'm doing the rock. Yeah. No, what? you're doing the horny. What? <laughs> Except you're playing the wrong part. Okay. <laughs> All right. They're praising the shit out of it, basically. Yes, we are. Mm -hmm. Everyone did. Every there's not one person I didn't hear that didn't praise it. Well, there's only three of us in here. No, but no, he's, he's talking about like critics, oh, fans, yes. all yeah. that jazz. It, 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 can you blame them? No. Like, after seeing this, no. No. Like, before you were like, So, hey. Matt, did you like the movie or did you love it? Or did you absolutely Bitch, love it? Bitch, please, I loved it, motherfucker. Yes! <laughs> I loved an anime film! Yay! Not Matt usually doesn't love What the anime fuck films. was that? I'll tell you what that, that was. That was an anime kick. <laughs> what? I expected you to float five seconds <laughs> Might later. Mike guy in the house. Mike guy. <laughs> Dynamic a tree! Flutter kick. But Matt, explain why you love this movie so much. Okay. It actually made me feel very sad watching this movie. Fuck. It made me feel very sad. I don't think I can watch this movie again. Really? No. Wimp! No, because it's so... It, it's not because, like I said, it's so true, though. I'm gonna, it's so true! I'm going to analyze this movie later, and I'm going to learn what happened and why. Nathan! And then I'm going to study it profusely. I'm gonna That's learn fascinating. From it. That's uh, really fascinating. Mike, why the fuck does the ginger have to... Hold this. <laughs> ah! well, well, give me those. Well, Nathan is going after Brian right now, give me those. What I think that... Like, it's seriously, it is such a psychological now, study. It as sure as an animated film. Like, seriously, Nathan. Nathan, it's an animated film that's like a study, basically, <gasps> oh! of the mind. That's why oh! it's so good. That's why I'm so interested in it. Like, Brian's saying I'm fucked up. This is fascinating no. to me. No, it is. No, it's fascinating to me, too. It's yeah, interesting. But, yeah, like, but I'm, like, uh, I'm going into psychology. You're not. Especially how deep it is. Exactly. That's it's, what's freaking deep this is this is my problem it deals with running away from home hell if it wasn't pg it could be dealing with depression for all we know and suicide sorry no offense but it could. seriously it could and it would work well with the movie it wouldn't go too the only far. problem is there's kids though that's the only problem they probably won't that's get it. why yeah but this is my problem with today's music is because it's it's taking away from what music is supposed to be it's kind of hard to say but like 
Hold on, to hold on. have any, like, you cannot have nothing, and it's kind of like going to everything, Nathan. Like, you can't have you can't have something without something else. Exactly. There's two There's sides positive to and everything. Ne- like, and negative positive reactions. The yin and the yang. Yes. It's balance. Chinese 101. It's balance. But this is my pr- problem with today's society. Like, if you listen, if you turn on the radio and go to any popular channel, I guarantee you, it'll be some guy, some girl talking about their spouse, their junk, or their drive. Or their pickup truck. Or their... <laughs> I love you more than my truck. Well, fuck you. That's a fucking song. And then the redneck redneck comes in, well, fuck you. That's an actual fucking song, and it scares me. Yeah, my bus will pick up truck. Like, songs and music in general is supposed to tell a story. If this, like Kyle Yeah. that told a story. That spread knowledge. That made you learn. It's pretty fucked up. It's pretty fucked up, but it's truthful. It's sad, but it teaches you so much. This movie taught you so much what kids go through nowadays. If you're an adult, you don't really understand it right away. Like, you've gone through it, but it's in the back of your mind. Mm -hmm. When you're raising a kid, you need to put that in the front of the mind, and it's not always there. Speaking of Brian, just curious, what time is it? It's 9 o'clock. Holy fuck. All right. Good, sorry, good, good sorry. Matt, sorry. please, give your... Okay, sorry. Well, I'm going to ask you questions, and then you're going to answer them. Voice acting. Great. Phenomenal. Or as Eminem would say, phenomenal. There you go. How do you turn this shit on? Can I have my phone back and then I'll show you how to turn it on? Uh, can we get back to reviewing? We don't got a lot of time. It's only nine. We've been recording for like two hours. Oh, shit. Oh, you just take that out? Mm-hmm. Holy crap. I just noticed it's been that long. Come on, come on. Okay, what else were you saying? Writing. No questions. There was no problems with the writing at all. Direction. Perfect. And of course, the animation. Joy is the only one that radiates out of all of the characters. And it pisses me off! Why does that piss you off? No, <gasps> that's good animation. Like, the first shot of the movie, when you see Joy, you can see all, like, the... She looks like Tinkerbell! But a better Tinkerbell! And no! The... Okay, yes, maybe, but... But, she like, lo- you she can reminds see me of Navi. the sparkles coming off of her! For frick's sake! But, yeah, did you have any problems with this movie? No! So you would give it... And A plus plus plus. Yes. So it's one of your favorites. So do you think it's gonna make your top ten of the year? Possibly. Yay! No. And and also, but wait, I'm changing mine to S plus plus infinity. You motherfucker! He ain't beating me. We all really love this movie. We all love this movie. That's all we can say. That's so, right. We're so going, Matt, we, we, wait, listen. We love this so much. We're going into the Japanese rating system now. So Ray, okay. Matt, buy it, rent it, or skip it. See, Worship that, it. See, that's what I said. Because I got to be honest. I wouldn't say unless you are such a movie person. I would say definitely buy it. But if you're not a movie person, I would at least rent it to watch. It. I think buy it. I think but you definitely buy it. it. Worship definitely, it. No, if you have kids, definitely buy it. Yes. Definitely buy it. It's the best anime film of the year. It's going to win the best anime feature. One of the best anime films now ever is probably going to be. Yeah, it's considered that Where's your bet, you ginger? (laughs) Now, Now, to make the sequel called (laughs) Outside In. No, it's going to be called Puberty In. Really? Probably. Oh, yeah, Puberty. What's Puberty? Puberty? (laughs) But now, let's get to the other blue releases. We'll be quick with these. Uh, the next movie release is The End of the Tour. I absolutely love this film. It starred Jason Segel and Jesse Eisberg. It was the a great film. Tour. It was directed by James Ponsold, who directed this spectacular now. It really was a great film. I love the dialogue. I love the chemistry between Segel and Eisenberg. I hope Segel... I would love if he got an Oscar nomination for Best Foreign Actor because he was excellent. Like, David Foster Wallace was such a dark and sad person. Like, he wanted to give this person a hug. Like, he was so... Damn, why are we talking so much? We're talking about such depressing movies. God damn. Well, the next yes, movie is not satisfying. Nec- the next movie isn't necessarily depressing, but to us film fans, it's depressing. It probably right, except for me? Matt. This is Monday to me. This is Monday. This is nothing. But um, watch or read him. I love this movie. I would up. say rent it if you're curious. I gave it an A. I really love this movie. I'm not gonna buy it on Blu-ray, but I think this film is gonna make my top ten. Matt didn't get a chance to see this no. film. So the next movie... Because New Jersey. I saw it here in Jersey. Really? It took a month for it to come here, here, but... Yeah, because Matt being lazy. Um, no, because Matt generally goes to, like, one theater. I go to many theaters. I go to, theaters. Like three theaters. What are you talking about? You go to Hazlitt, yeah, Mammoth, Matt, four. Four. Matt, Red Matt. Bank, Hazlitt, Mammoth... Actually, no, it's five. Matt, it's Freehold, Matt. Uh, Matt. And then here in London, yeah. 
Matt. London? Linden. When, since when did we live in London? Matt. London calling. Matt. <laughs> London, yes. Compared to what he goes through, you go to one. Fuck you. <laughs> All we need is a London But the next song. movie <laughs> is a movie that I avoided. No. You avoided a movie? Because I didn't want to suffer myself with this movie. And it just broke my heart. <laughs> it. I'm gonna go. Pee. It was one of the worst reviewed films of the year. No one gave this film a positive review because everyone hated sitting through the movie entitled Vacation. Oh. Matt saw this film without seeing the original Vacation. Really? There was no positive. I thought there was at least one. One? You? You gave like three out of five, which yes. is like a C plus. C minus. A three point out of five is a C plus. Okay. Let's be mindful. Okay, I'm a dumbass. Yes! Well, actually, you wouldn't have gone see it. it was your cousin who dragged you. It's his fault! I'm a magnet for watching really terrible movies. <laughs> Shame. I really am. Especially when we get into Bond, I'll talk about it uh, more. But there is some movies that I enjoy watching that are god-awful. Um, there's a few I don't like, like Fantastic Four. <laughs> The movie, the abomination that shall never, you know, be shown to other eyes that have not experienced it yet, because no. protect their innocence. That's right. But finish your thought. But give your thoughts on this movie. Uh, I don't give a shit. That's all I'm gonna say. But you didn't hate it like everyone else did. No, it wasn't god awful, but because you know that whole Norman Reedus thing is actually kind of cool, I guess. Uh, I I didn't want to know that, but everyone spoiled it. But it doesn't me. matter because the movie's bad. You're probably never gonna watch it. I'll watch it when it comes really? on cable. You're probably not gonna like it. No, I won't like it. I love the original vacation. I love Christmas vacation. I like European vacation. I don't really care for Vegas vacation. I wouldn't say it's offensive, the movie. I mean... Did it, people say it was offensive? No, but I mean, like, offensively bad. Like, not like it's offensive to a race, but it's just offensive to the yeah. comedy genre. I don't think it's offensive. I think, like, to the regular comedy, you know, the smart comedy genre, you could say. Well, people didn't say this was the worst comedy of the year. That this still no. goes to Hot Pursuit. No, it wasn't offensive, but I didn't give a shit. I probably would never watch it again. I wouldn't watch it again. I actually, I would never. I see. I, I feel like, I feel like it's a movie that's meant for cable. I know everyone said that it's not worth seeing, but honestly, I am curious to see it. So um, yeah, so Matt. Dumb. So Matt, what would you you gave it a C minus? So you would say rent it or skip it? Uh, unless you really like bad comedy, skip it. Unless you like bad comedies. Either if you like bad comedies or if you are a critic like Brian or Chase or anybody else or Schmoes or whoever, hey? Mm -hmm. Well, they already sit through it, so kudos to them, hey? Well, they sit through everything. The brethren <laughs> have experienced that movie. Uh, but I would say, Brian, you probably rent it at least just to see how bad it is. I'll watch it when it comes on yeah. cable. Uh, the next movie... Is before we go. This stars Chris Evans and Alice Eve. This was directed by Chris Evans as well. Ah! I wanted to see this. I didn't get a chance to. How I heard do anyway. I heard mixed things. It was like right. one of those VOD movies. So why are you like, playing Subway Runner? I don't know. I was I was wait I was listening to Matt as he was talking, and I just wanted to play it. But yeah, um, I was curious about this movie. I'll probably check it out when it comes on like Netflix or whatever. So yeah, before we go, I can't say if you should buy, rent, or skip it. Me neither. I would say probably rent out of curiosity. Yeah. Now, finally, we brought this movie a little earlier. I hate that I have to admit that I saw this film. Kirk Cameron Saving Christmas. Wait, it's finally on DVD? Damn, it took that long. Well, they usually like to release Christmas movies like a year after they No, come seriously, out. though. It took that long? Did that yep. movie come out like two years ago? It came out last year. Oh, really? Shit. Hold on. Keep this in your head. Ah, uh, this film like, can go it fuck it itself. This film sucks. Hold on, hold on. Did this is also not my kind of... No, I watched it on um, online. Wow. Does that hurt? Was it offensive? Like, I heard? Did that hurt? Well, I'm not, I'm not really offended by this religious stuff, but I mean... No, but if you had to, like, As a film lover, I am offended that, that I had to watch this. Hurt? This yes. was worse than Fantastic That's Four. because the tremors shook Did you at least have a skull. good laugh about no. it? No! No, not like the movie was funny, just how badly... No! Oh. Wow. It was That's that bad? Harsh. Yes. It was so bad that it was bad. Like, would you say somebody should experience this? No! This film gets a whopping F, and, and you should F skip minus, it! F minus, 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 No, minus. it gets an I for incinerate this movie. Yes! Incineration. That's a new grade book. That should be, like, my new grade. Should Fantastic good. Four be on there, then? No, Fantastic Four eh. can go F, 
fuck itself. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Fantastic Four could go fuck four itself. Four Fs. Four Fs for Fantastic Fan Four. Fan shit stick four. Yes. The fan shit stick. Uh, uh, but yeah, Kirk Cameron said Christmas, suit. fuck you, go away, just disappear. Kirk Cameron. Now, does. finally, we get to the movie releases. Spectre's our first one. Should um, Andrew saw this movie with me. He couldn't be on the episode tonight. Andrew sent me his thoughts on this movie. I hope everyone will be able to hear this. Papa. Yeah, he had he has a life. He was busy. He couldn't make it to this episode. He sent his regards. So, um, yeah, let's We're hear gonna have a good debate. Could you um, turn that down? I, so, I kind of like, hate this because I'm going to have a good debate with him. Guys. So, so here we go. Down. Let's hear his thoughts on shh, Spectre. Shh, let's hope this is very loud. Well, as you heard, Andrew thought the film was okay. I didn't. I could barely hear him. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I couldn't really hear him either. either. But uh, he wow. said that the film was okay. He liked. He said the cinematography was pretty much decent. He loved the performances. He thought the film was underused. He thought that the story was okay. He thought the action was good. And um, yeah. He, all right. Now expectations. You know how this usually works, guys. Expectations. Then, if we liked the movie or not. Then what we liked about. It, then what we didn't like. It, then our grades. Now I got big. I'm not a big James Bond fan. I'm not. I've only seen two James Bond films in full: Casino Royale and Skyfall. This and then, of course, I saw this movie. Um, I was as a film lover and as an action film lover, I was excited to see this because I love Sam Mendes as a director. American Beauty, Road to Perdition, Jarhead, Revolutionary Road, and Skyfall. Um, I liked Skyfall. I didn't love it like everyone else did, but I understand the love it. God, um, when I. Did I like this movie? I enjoyed it. I thought it was a fun film. What I liked about it, here we go. I thought Daniel Craig still was fantastic here as Bond. Um, he really did a great job. I thought all the performances were great. Christoph Waltz was great. Leah Seduc was great. Ray Fiennes, Naomi Harris, Ben Winshaw were all fantastic. And by the way, Ben Winshaw is Eric Stripper's doppelganger. I mean, I don't know if Matt agrees with me now on that. I'll show him a picture yeah. later on. But um, believe what you want. <laughs> But all the performances were terrific. I thought the action was pretty much well done. There were some action sequences that were, I thought were eh. But most of them were really strong. The cinematography was actually really strong. I, I liked it. I, I, I can agree that the cinematography was not as good as it was for Skyfall. You sure was it wasn't better? It was not better than Skyfall. Which not even in a heart. No one can top Roger Deakins. Do you still think Roger Deakins had a hand in this? Maybe. Certain some scenes. He, he was secretly um, under his pen name, yes, of whatever that guy's name what was. What else did I like? I, like. I thought the story was interesting. I don't think the story was fantastic, but I was interested to see what was going to happen. I don't get why people have said this boring. <clears throat> it's not your turn! Okay. Wow! That's a low price. price. <laughs> <laughs> um, and the last thing I'll say I liked, I actually thought it was visually well done. And yeah, that's it. What I did like, I, I hate the fact that Christoph Waltz was so underused here. I, Sam Mendes, what the hell were you thinking, man? How could you underuse someone like Christoph Waltz, a two-time oscar winner actor? You can't underuse him. But the scenes he was in, he was fantastic, and it's just his character was very underused. I don't like that Batista had more scenes than him. Batista. 
But the biggest issue I had with this movie was the script. There were a lot of issues involving the character development and it's involving some of the story issues. And overall, it was a little weak, the story, but I still enjoyed the movie for what it was. You guys can check out my full review on my channel. I gave this film a B, and I would say check it out. I saw it in IMAX. It was pretty cool in IMAX, but I don't think it's any different if you see it in regular. But overall, I really enjoyed the film. Now, here in Matt's fault, because Matt, remember Matt, expectations. Then what you liked, what you didn't like, and then your grade. Right. When I saw this, because well, let's give some background here, because we—I've never talked about a Bond movie on the podcast yet. I have seen about every Bond movie. No, except, you've seen every. No, no, there's one I remember I haven't seen, which is the original Casino Royale, 1950, whatever. 1950. Yeah, 1960, it, it was, man. Like no, yeah, whatever. No, it was the original. Like it was like a comedy, but I didn't give a shit. That's why I never watched it. But it is loosely based on the novel Casino Royale by you know who, Ian yes. Fleming. Yep. And let me say something about this. I'll, I'll talk about my experience with Daniel Craig. Right? Casino Royale, brilliant. Quantum of Solace, the only Bond movie I do not like. That's right. Out of all twenty, was it twenty five yes. now? Or twenty four. Twenty four. Out of all twenty four, that's the only one I don't like. Skyfall, it was great. Now, Spectre, I was at least expecting a fun movie out of this, just like Skyfall was. At least, well, you know, but better. It was more, it was deeper Skyfall, but it was fun still. Now, what Spectre, what I got was more of a, I would actually say, a calling card to the older Bond movies. I mean, I guess it's because, again, like how you said, Daniel Craig, this might be his final movie. Possibly. Yeah. Maybe they were trying to do it as a send-off to show that he's still a Bond, possibly. Maybe that's why they did all this. Hey? Because this movie uses a lot of the old Bond tropes. Definitely. <laughs> you know, how he just says, like, one thing and they start fucking. Type of thing. Deal. My lady, you age like... God, jeez! Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> Not like that, but it's kind of. Um... Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But the uh -huh. thing is, the thing is, though, again, like how, again, with um, with his character, we should say about, we'll, we'll say about that after I get past this. After I, uh, we start about the basics of it. Um, now, the first thing, the most important thing about a Bond movie, I must say this, is, you can probably guess what it is, out of all action movies, was it entertaining? I would give it a hell yes, it was entertaining. I was not bored, it was not slow. There were scenes that were interesting when they were talking, and then there were scenes where they, they split it up nice and evenly with Sam Mendes' direction. Where, it, before when it got too long, the conversation, they threw an action, basically. And that's smart. None of it, none of the, not, even the dialogue was interesting. There was no boring dialogue in the movie at all, I would say. Now, now let's talk about, let's talk about, and probably one of the bigger things we talk about is Christoph Waltz, alright? Remember, the things you liked and the things yes. you didn't like. Well, let's talk about in general. First. Now, now Christoph Waltz was brilliant. All right, for the character, which the one thing I kind of is not like a really issue with the movie. It's kind of like I just kind of wish they did tell us was that I hated, I didn't like that, I didn't like that the writers tried to be. I really don't want to say the twist because. See, Brian, let's say because since Brian's not a Bond uh, fan, he wouldn't know this. What why he. Nathan, stop beating him up. Jeez. <laughs> Beat ah! you with a foam finger! Oh. Shut up! Bro, let's Catch! See. I need to say this. Brian wouldn't really get... Like, <laughs> it's hard to explain, but basically, if you're a Bond fan, and you know who who Christoph Waltz really is, his character, then you would you stop understand. It. But stop Brian it. just is not a Bond fan, so he doesn't get why... He's... There's too many Bond films! It's too much! Yes, I but agree. this is like the Sean Connery days. This is more back. Like... The first oh, one. Oh, oh, can I talk both of you? Jesus Christ. Hey, you can talk, mind. but we'll overshadow you. Oh. 
I just wish that they told us ahead One of time. One day I'm going to teach you to dance. I'd rather, you to dance. I'd rather have had, like, if they said that he was this character and then explained the more backstory of his relation to Bond. That would have been it's cool. Almost more than that, though, I mean, <laughs> it didn't bother me, though. It didn't bother me. I saw it coming. We all knew it was coming from, just from the name alone of the movie. Um, now, now, Christoph Waltz himself, he was very strong. He was a he was very strong as as this character, as Franz Oberhauser, let's just call him for now, because I don't want to reveal it for people who don't know who he really is, because then Brian would slap me for saying it, probably. You know what I'm talking about. Look, Brian. Mm-hmm. I got it um, in a hole. Ah! Like, it went in but, the triangle. Illuminati but, confirmed. But I wish, like Brian said, I wish he Ooh, was in it way more because so it's like he yeah, shows Brian up hour later. Song. He shows up again. It's just very too, you know, too choppy. And I mean, they've done a character like this before in uh, Casino, which is Lashie. Is my hand sweaty? Yes. Because is um, my hand sweaty. Yes. Let's just say <laughs> Lashie is a lot Try like Oberhauser, where oh. he's not physically menacing, but he's mental. Okay, he's a very mental person. I'm sitting on his legs. Get off my leg. <laughs> he's, well, I have nowhere to sit because you and your whore ass is taking up half the couch. He's a very men- oh, he, he's more of a psychotic. Actually, no, fuck it. My he thing's talks over. more than actually shoots a gun at somebody. I'm trying to say here. And oh, kind of like somebody else we know. No, but see, mm-hmm. they could have done it like that, like Lashif did, but they didn't. Is it sweaty in that? That's yeah. And that would have been cool if they did <laughs> like Lashif, but that's all right. I understand. Because they're trying to keep the older, the character he really is back in the day, just like him. But I still wish they did that. I actually had my hand now, wrapped in this. Now, directing wise, that off. long shot though, <laughs> at the beginning. The directing, Fuck. cinematography, score, acting, everything is excellent. All right, in this movie, especially Daniel Craig again mm. knocks it out of the park. Is Bond. Mm. I forgot to say that. Uh, Leah Sado does really good as the main Bond girl, uh, Madeline Swan, if I remember her name was. And she was like, and it was interesting because they did do a callback to On Her Majesty's Secret Service with the whole relationship between him and Daniel, her and Daniel Craig. Because, and I thought, and I, th- I thought it was gonna end like that movie, but it didn't. So glad it, they actually didn't drop off the ending of that movie. I'm, not, I'm gonna tell Brian after the podcast what happens at the end of that movie. Uh, and it's pretty messed up, too. Brian, does this look racist? Yes. Um, um, bong, 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 Jesus bong. Christ. <laughs> now, okay, I, I'm taking too much time because of this. Yes! yes. Flaws. Flaws! Flaws with the movie. I thought that the Everything. movie's conclusion was really rushed. Why the fuck? I, I did it. Twerking Wallace. I thought I'm what not. I thought was rushed, no, like... No, you were. You were. <laughs> I don't know. I guess it's it's not really because of like the movie itself. I think it's just because like the lack of Waltz's character in the movie made it feel like it was rushed. Hey, poke you in your eye. Like it, it's more of just again. It comes back to he needed to be in the movie more. That's the only problem. It just compromises the entire like pacing of the movie basically. And also, last but not least, like fuck. I don't know. Everything. Moving on. Uh, Can we talk about the saw, please? I thought that I thought the connection thing was really cool. I like the idea that they connected all the other movies together. Can we talk about the song? <laughs> but let's talk about the song here, right? Um, I thought that the song at first when I first heard it, I thought it was okay. But when I saw the movie's opening, I'm like, it makes sense with the movie itself too. Like, just the song, it just fits it looks with the movie. Like Wally has a giant red pulsating penis right now. You look like you have. The Idiot. song Look at that face of yours. Give shit about Sam Shepard. I think he did a good job. Who? Sam Smith, I mean. Who Sam Smith. Smith. I said Sam Shepard. Sam Shepard's an Sam actor. Sam Shepard? Yes, he's an actor. Sam no Smith idea. did a good job, though. Ah! Did a good Don't job. Don't anything oh, over. Jesus. Say what you want about him. Even though it's different, it makes sense with the movie. Ow. Now, final thoughts... I would say, when well, you compare this... Wally Butt. Comparing this to Casino... No, everyone's comparing this to Skyfall. No, I'm going to... No. no, comparing this to Casino and Skyfall the is not... The sweat of a man. Okay. No, it's not. It's not that... It's not good. as good as those two, Talk. right? No, it's not. Well, I mean, I think Skyfall is actually a pretty overrated film, but it's eh, still good. Nevertheless. It's still really good. It's up there with Casino, though. Yes. That's because everyone was expecting but, something. Yeah. But, like... But would you consider... But saying Spectre is, like, a 62% movie? Hell no. I'd say it's, like, a 70. Maybe even... Early eighty, not it's, not low. Nobody 80. says no, early no. eighty, like low, low 80. eighty, a high Busted. seventy, early maybe 80. possibly Ooh, a low eighty. Fuck? I but think a mid seventy. 
But I would definitely say, though, you should probably, if you're a Bond guy, you'll have fun with this, all right? If you're a Bond fan, you've already checked this movie out, probably. Yes. It's very... <laughs> it's it's just so fun. It's a fun movie. Even if you want to give shit Ooh, about yeah. it, it's a fun movie. All right, man. Come on. We got to wrap final, this up. By final grade, I would give it a B. Give it! That's my grade, too! I, I said the same thing we said. I said it before, too. Remember, you're my grade. You, Matt, we saw it at the same time. Yes, literally. but I gave a better review first. Because I do video so, reviews, I don't write. on it. I, hey, Matt. I do videos. I don't write. Brian. But, the, ah! but, but as a Bond fan, I would give it an A-. minus. But I'm not saying as a Bond fan. That's a critic, I'm saying. We so don't I care. Moving on. The Luke next one, like release. a gauntlet. Gauntlet. Me no. and Matt today saw the Peanuts movie. Get your hand That's right. That's right. That can shit. That's right. Shut up. Oh, Spanish. my peanuts. <laughs> my peanuts? That's right, guys. Today we saw the Peanuts movie. Nathan didn't come with us because Nathan has never had asleep. a childhood he because asleep. he never saw a I Peanuts was special. Asleep. The entire time I was asleep. You never saw one Peanuts special. What the fuck is wrong nope. with you? I just haven't gotten the time. You haven't gotten the time. What? Have you ever lived? How are you Do still Do you want to die? Maybe. Live and let die. Okay. All right. Live and let die. Play Paul McCartney. No. 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 Could I please finish? Yes. Don't Paul. what? Don't eat me. Actually. Now, expectations. Now, oh, I grew shit. up with peanuts. A lot of Ooh. people my age did, except for Nathan. Oh, shit. Um, what the fuck? That sounded like a cat purring, I, you gay I, fuck. Shut up, please. I know a lot of people were kind of skeptical, no! skeptical about this movie because they were worried that it was going to be Smurfed or Alvin and Chipmunks. Here. But I didn't think that. I was actually really looking forward to this movie. And um, I love the <sighs> use of hand-draw animation combined with 3D. I think it was. I think it, that's brilliant. A lot of people may think that's cheap, but honestly, I didn't think it was. It and worked. I, and But let me get. Let yes. me say if I like the movie or not. What movie? Peanuts. Oh. And um, overall... Oh, I completely I I thought this movie was really like great. I thought it was a really good movie. I really had a great time with it. What I loved about the movie, first of all, the animation. I gotta give kudos to the animation. I thought I was watching a penis cartoon, but this time in modern day, and it worked very well. It was just cool seeing these characters again because it's like, yeah, we see the specials every year, but those are like specials that came on in the sixties. They're nostalgic. Yeah. Exactly. Nostalgic. Like, who here can name more than two characters? From Peanuts? Yes. Other than Snoopy and Charlie Brown, Lucy, Linus, Schroeder, um, Pigpen. Sally, Pigpen, Peppermint Woodstock, Patty. Peppermint Marcy. Patty, Marcy. Lots of characters. Woodstock. Holy shit, you guys are old. Yes. We are not old, you mother. <laughs> You're older <laughs> than us, you bastard. I am the oldest person here, and I feel like I'm five. <laughs> the way he said five. Five! You crouchy old ginger fat! You crouchy tiger headed dragon! What? That a good, that's a movie. A great martial arts film. But from China. Um. I hear Chinese martial arts are actually pretty good. They're actually pretty good movies. Um. No, I meant the actual martial arts, you dingus! Um, but back to this movie. Shut I really liked the, how simple the story was. It was just Charlie Brown trying to get this girl. And it was actually a really simple, it was a really adorable story. It was very touching, and it worked very well. I will, And now all the voice acting for all these kids were terrific. I gotta give a shout-out to Noah Schnapp. That's his name, I looked it up. He voiced Charlie Brown, and man, oh man, this kid did a great job voicing that character. Since Charlie been... Brown, just, he never has good luck. That guy always has bad luck, and I feel so bad for that character. But man, oh man. Since I'm the only adult here, should I talk like the adults in the show? Mm -hmm. arr, 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 arr. No, arr, 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 arr. You gotta put your. <laughs> Can you tell me the square root of five? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but um, yeah, I really like the simple story. Love the animation. I love the voice. I like the writing. I like. It's only an 85 minute long movie, which is a perfect running time. Felt longer movie. than that too. What? No, seriously. Sitting down there, it felt longer than 85 minutes. Well, it's not your turn yet! Wait. What did I tell you? No interruptions. Also, Brian, But yeah, I loved most Brian. of the stuff about this movie. Now, here's what I didn't like. 
I can't necessarily think of anything I didn't like about the movie. I The thing I didn't like, I wish that this movie was a little longer because I was so into it. I really dug it. And also, credits to the voice of Snoopy and Woodstock, who's voiced by Bill Mendelsohn, the, the guy who originally voiced him, but he, the guy died, so they used archive footage to use that for the movie. And it honors Charles M. Schultz comic strips so well. It just... It was a perfect homage to the Peanuts, and I really, really, really dug this movie. I would say I almost loved it. I really hope this film gets nominated for Best Anime Feature, and I would give the film an A-. minus. I really had a great time with it's it. It's going to have a tough competition with Inside Out. It's not going to win. Not by any means, but it's it should be nominated. Oh, you're hoping for it to be nominated. Yeah. Now, Brian, what? let me just say, bro to bro. Change the password to your fucking phone. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Just for the record, I have his phone and I completely know his password. Ah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let's just say. What Expectations, Matt. When I heard of this Peanuts movie, I was yeah. like, I'm gonna see it because I'm a Peanuts person. But I just had no, like no thoughts about it. I didn't want to go in with any expectations. Cause you know, it could be <laughs> rap or it could have been mm. fucked up shit. Basically. Oh yes. yeah. Rule thirty. Never mind. Shut up. <laughs> That's what the fifth time you said that today. Ser- fifth? More well, like 15. Yeah. Seriously, I've said that a uh, lot. Now, Ooh. what I thought, I thought the animation was beautiful. It's but first of all, you gotta say, did you like the movie or did you love it? Did oh, you- I fucking, I love it. This is wow, like, you're a pussy. this, no seriously, this is like one of those things I would put against other specials like where I would watch again. Right? Like, it's so good. It feels like one of those Charlie Brown specials. This has Brown been a special. pretty strong year for animation. Yeah, listen Seriously. though, like, listen, this is basically like a freaking Charlie Brown special in our day and age in the movie theater. Yeah, it's an hour and a half long special. It's so good it's though. It's so, it's so simple. That's the. It doesn't take any risk. It's so simple. It's simple. I mean, that could be probably the only issue I would say with the movie is that it's simple. Yeah, yeah but for an animated movie. But it's pretty good, though. Pull your pants up. No, but that's just to be like a nitpicky freaking thing. Yeah, that's, that, that's that's an asset, 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 asset that's and awesome. a weakness. Yes, but other than that, I mean, I thought the pacing was freaking perfect. That's a sword that can also be used. Again. Listen, listen, I didn't know this was eighty-five minutes. I thought this was like a, like an hour forty-five. I actually thought it felt like an hour forty-five, and I actually didn't mind it. Oh, t- sorry to cut you off, but I for- completely forgot the side story with Snoopy. Terrific. So good, the, terrific. The red, bringing the red Baron back. For yeah, that? that's so cool. Like from uh, the Great Pumpkin. Yeah, damn. You see that in so many sun, Sunday cartoons, him talking about the red Baron. Yeah, it's so good. Because and, it's like, like talk about what you thought of the story now, of I how Charlie about story, finding the girl again. Like the double edged sword of it being simple means that you know it wasn't innovative. <laughs> but the thing is though, but it was so well done. The simple story. You got two love stories going on here, basically. I'm not gonna get into the Snoopy one because I want you. Snoopy and Woodchuck? No, no, not with Woodchuck. It's like with another. Oh, yeah. dog. It's with a girl named yes. Fifi. Yes. It was a dog a girl named Fifi. Or... Okay. Yeah. I was about to say. Bestiality. Rule twenty-three. God damn it. What the fuck? <laughs> Calm down. Um. No. Like. No, but I like how also like they both par- they had kind of like parallels between each other. Like Snoopy was getting the idea to write it. Yes. Like the from girl Charlie Brown. Her hips, the dog will be there to meet her. It's also. <laughs> I also like though that the, the movie. It just again the characters felt like the characters. Woo! They weren't different. Linus still loved his blanket as usual. Uh huh. He still had Schroeder playing his goddamn piano, especially in the intro. I mean, you got Lucy doing the psychiatrist stuff. Yes. Like get the self help. Was <laughs> did she move the football? Did she? Re- yeah, uh, she did. Like it was a post. It was like a mid credit scene. Yeah. Oh my god. Just when we were about to leave, they played that. Just when we were about to yeah. leave, it was. It was perfect. Uh, uh, that that little cunt. I know in one of my treks no around the internet that there was a video of that, and Charlie Brown snapped and beat the shit. Wasn't out that of like her. a lost episode? Yes. Yeah. Never he mind. demolished her. Shout out to creepypastas. <laughs> No, that wasn't a creepy. Yes, it was a lost episode, but that's considered a creepy boss. Oh. But that was fucked up. Yeah, remember Squidward? I approved. You remember Squidward's suicide? That wasn't uh, too bad. Yeah. Uh, going back to this, though. Yeah, uh, focus. Yes. I thought, again, the animation was great. I liked it. it. I liked how it mixed modern, like, like somewhat stop motion 
with like old hand drawn. It's really cool. Oh, yeah. Now let me ask you this: yeah. What did you think of all the voice acting, especially the Noah Schnapp who played Charlie Brown? Uh, Noah Schnapp did a really good job. It actually sounded like the old Charlie Brown. It was Same goes for Linus. Same Same with Linus. So much like the old Linus. What I loved, for, again, Ben Mendelsohn. Ben Mendelsohn. About Bill Mendelsohn. I mean, Bill Mendelsohn. Ben Mendelsohn? No. What the fuck? Ben Mendelsohn is, is the you? guy that's going to be a Rogue One. Yeah. I mean, wrong guy. I'm sorry. But still, you should probably. I want to see him voice Snoopy. Uh, Bill Mendelsohn did a really. Okay, he's, he's the voice of Snoopy. He's in the archive stuff. It was going to be great. And I think, uh, again, they'll like. Ah, that bad sound of him what laughing. The fuck? And that's crying. how Snoopy laughed. No. Uh, Snoopy laugh. You said Stewie, it sounded like you would say. Yeah, he said Stewie. <laughs> did I say Stewie? Yes, yes you did. <laughs> I said Stewie? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. No, but Come the way he's like, <laughs> again, perfect, as always. Ooh, exiting. As well as him doing the woodchuck stuff, too, because he always did both. They're so different. They're so different. Like, they're sounding and how he's able to pull off both. So rip that guy. <laughs> rip. It's, co it's cool that oh, they used the archive. Oh, it's Rest just cool. Mm -hmm. It's just cool that they used archive recordings. They had before. to. They had to. That's the cool thing. Technology. Yeah. I think who was the director again? Like Martino, or whatever. His yeah, name his was? name was Steve Martino. He did a really good job. Ah! He kept it as old and new as he could, and it was perfect. I thought. How many films can do that? No, like some films try too hard. I was seriously surprised by this movie. Holy what crap! What were you expecting it? To I was suck expecting it to be fine. Did? Oh. I was expecting. Yeah, see, like, I didn't know how it was going to turn out either. Yeah, but like seriously, this thing should be nominated like for Oscars. So, like, it's good, not not as good as that. Like, no, but it's still good for a Peanuts movie. For a Peanuts now, what did movie? you not like Ouch. about the movie? No, no, I mean, that, that, no, but dude, no, I'm trying to say like it's up there. But what did you not like about the movie? Oh yeah, oh boy. Other than, remember what I said. Other than that, it was simp It was just the simple thing. You it's know, a -edged sword. nothing over again. Double edged sword, like Nathan said. It could have been more, but I it hey, also could look, have been hey, less. Hey, I'm not complaining, all right? It was really, really entertaining, and I would probably buy it actually. So, what would you give it? Your grade? I would give wise? it an A. An A? Wow, that's yeah. really. Do you think this film could make your like top ten or fifteen? Definitely honorable mentions. Possibly. Make well, I think we're gonna do top fifteen, not just because it's 2015, but there's been a lot of good <laughs> 15, movies that have come out. Fifteen, yeah, Luminati exactly. Luminati. <laughs> God damn it, you, <laughs> Jinx. Stop, out. You will oh. have mine, man! Ow, stop, ow, ow. I'll, I'll get, how about 420? Forget it. But yeah, this is... This Too is pretty, far, This man. is a strong week. This was a really strong week. And that's why when we get to the uh, box office, it's going to be actually No, tricky. but also, now we got to talk about the limited release just a bit. Trumbo, starring Brian Cranston. This film looks terrific. I'm really excited to see this movie. It's supposed to be coming out wide release next week. So I'm really excited to see this movie. I want Brian Cranston to get an Oscar nomination. Wait, it's going open? What? Is it going open? Oh, going to open? Yeah. What? And why do we supposedly next week? Thank Let's, you, God. I want to see this. Ah. But limited release, right? It's in limited release right now. It's in limited release right now. I'm really looking forward to this movie. And that's it. But hopefully, later on, we'll have a review of this movie. Uh, Don't get, don't get confused with the trombone. Or don't get confused with Dumbo. Or John. Because John plays a trombone. I'm just kidding. Was Our friend John. Long? Or tuba, I'm just kidding. Our friend John. Yes. Uh, no, I think it was a tuba, I'm not sure, actually. No, the name of the movie! Oh, Trumbo. Trumbo? No, Trumbo. Trumbo. Trump? Trumbo. B-O. No. Oh, look, here's the photo. B-O! Here's the football photo. Fo. <laughs> it looks like it's directly from the comic. Seriously. It looks like Which I like too, actually. But going back to Peanuts, I just want to say this because I just remembered. I liked how in between they were using the hand drawn like comic animations for some of it. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Agree with you 100%. But back to Trumbo. Back to Trumbo. I think Chris is going to kill it. Oh, I'm sure he kills it. Because, hell, he might kill somebody in this movie. He could. He could. Watch, I it be, so watch it be Nazi mm -hmm. Timothy Dalton. I don't know. Mm -hmm. ah. Yeah, Rocketeer reference. Nobody knows that movie that well. Not me, no, but just you old folk. No, I've seen the. I just watched it on Sci-Fi Channel like years ago. Wow, you are very. It's a Disney old movie. It's, no, age. seriously, it's a Disney movie from like the nineties or eighties. Like I think the it's nineties. Sci-Fi Channel. Yes, yeah, so that, that sounds like old version. The, 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 the creators of Sharknado. Yeah, that's where I said that. That movie. But yeah, really, that's yes. your Trump card. No, that. <laughs> No, you no, suck, sir. Fuck you, you. But yeah, can we um just like now? 
Oh yeah, the Ryugio reference. She said the card picked me or whatever. But now I want to talk about this next release because this release is actually the one I'm looking forward to the most. Like this week, I was looking forward to the most this week. Spotlight. I love movies with dialogue with lots of dialogue. This movie looks absolutely terrific. Ryan, you have the spotlight. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no pun intended. That was actually I pun intended because this guy's a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> pun intended because this guy's a bitch. No, but like I'm really excited for this movie. I've been hearing nothing but great things. I love Tell all the. Michael Keane for Best Sworn Actor, please. I just want him to win. I know he might not win, but I know he's going to get nominated. I love all the actors in this movie. Tom McCartney was at the EW Fest as well, talking about this, and it got, I was already excited for this film, but, like, just more stuff he talked about, how this is kind of a love letter to Boston, and I love movies that take place in Boston. Hey, get out of that cat. Let's go report some newspapers. Uh, I'm sorry to anyone who lives in Boston who I offended. I'm really sorry. He's, he's not fan, sorry. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. <laughs> oh, Nathan, you're funny. But yeah, I'm really excited for this movie. I really like the story. It grosses me out, just the topic of these sexual scandals involving the Catholic... Give oh, me! Oh, yes, it, I was going to say, Nathan's going to love this movie. Oh, it grosses What's me it out. Listen, uh, it's about like... I just heard sexual. No, what happened was wait. back during like the 70s, like the or 60s, no. like the No, this was the early 2000s. 2000, right. I mean. Uh, like, there was this whole case that, like, the freaking Catholic Church raped kids and touched them and shit. Like a Sandusky, basically. So it's really, it They've just... They've been doing that for decades. Yeah, but they what came, like, to, like, these guys, they, these guys put it in the spotlight. They reopened ah. this case that was hidden. That's why it's called Spotlight. No, no, but it's called Spotlight because, because that's what their team is called. Yes, no, but that's what I'm saying. But they put they brought it into the spotlight. But it looks like it has an All the President's Men uh, vibe to uh, it. Puns. Uh, Why? Uh, let me finish. You. It looks like it has an All the President's Men vibe to it, which I am excited about because I adore that film to death. And I really am looking Wait, forward to this movie? movie, All the President's Men. Oh, oh shit. The, uh, oh, yeah, the Nixon movie. I remember what you're talking about. But Dustin I, Hoffman. Yeah. Yes. But and Robert Richard Richard Nixon. Nixon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a movie about, you know, you know the two reporters, uh, Bernstein and Woodward or whatever his name was? Like, oh, I don't pay attention to Yeah, Matt doesn't movie. pay attention. Uh, Nathan doesn't pay attention to this. No, I watched a special about it, dude. It was interesting. Good for you. Watch all the presents, Matt. But yeah, it's I am so excited for this movie. I cannot wait to see it. I hope it comes out very soon because I know for a fact that this movie will make my top ten of the year. Matt, please give your thoughts on this movie. Well, what are you hoping when you, if you see this? I think, I, I honestly, I don't think I'm going to be disappointed. Based on what I've heard. It doesn't Ooh, look just, just by what you said, you're screwed. Yeah, that's right, you heard me. You heard me, audience. I said that. <laughs> I'll be shocked if it disappoints me, because it's interesting. Some really fucked up shit with the Catholic Church, I'm in, alright? And Michael Keaton. And Michael Keaton going, <laughs> <laughs> Michael Keaton just looking at a priest and saying, <laughs> <laughs> Probably. No, not really. That'd be funny, though, if he actually did that to a priest in the movie. Yes. So, huh. yeah, oh! Box office predictions, then, right? Here we go. Yeah. Number five, Bridge of Spies. Mm -hmm. Number four, wait, ad, after, before I say the title, can you do the, yeah, goosebumps, and then play it as I say the number. Number three, The Martian. Number two, The Peanuts Movie. And number one, Spectre. Matt, okay. your box office predictions. If you had the same as me, it's not a big deal. Um, well, I would say, I would say number five, Goosebumps. Number four, Rich oh, Spies. Number three, what was the other one? Oh yeah, Martian. Two, Spectre. And number one, the Peanuts. Movie. Movie. <laughs> You're at the Peanuts. Long pause. Somebody stole Movie. the Peanuts! <laughs> Where are they? So yeah, guys, that is it for this episode of Nerdy Scores, a film podcast. Thank you so much for listening to this episode. Thank you, Nate, for, for coming on once again. Shout out to Snowball. Thank you for having no, me. Shout out to the Snowball microphone. Snowball! Stuart Little, everybody. Start with I think I might, oh, yeah. he'll be here all week. <laughs> I think I might actually start playing music while we're doing this because this was a good idea. It's like the tension. It's like the so drums. yeah. It's like the drums. Remember, like, it's like so guys. Do that here. So 
guys, that is it. Thank you. Hope you guys have a good day, good afternoon, good night, good evening, whatever. And we will see you guys next week for episode 18. Which probably will have Andrew, hopefully. Maybe. We'll, we'll see what If we, we do, we won't actually hear him in person talk about Spectre. But yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you, and goodbye. See you all on the next video! Bye-bye! <laughs>